Muchas gracias, afición. Este es para vosotros. ¡Sí!
<laughs> What's up everyone? Welcome in. Hello, hello, hello. It's good to see all of you again. It's been a week. It's been a week. Oh my goodness. Lolo, Isaac, Zenas, Rezi. Uh, Maku, welcome in. Yes, happy Kaisa Day. Happy 9-13 day. It's nothing special unless you... Uh, unless you know what it's about. And unless you know what it's about, it's uh, it's uh, nine thirteen. Kaisa, yes, happy Kaisa day. Everyone, mainstreams, welcome in. Ah, oh, first time calling you. That feels so weird. But congratulations on signing the contract and uh, finally selling your soul uh to the military. <laughs> I won't say it's selling your soul to the military. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's always a good thing to uh have a stable career, right? Can't fault you for that. Everybody loves a stable career. Yes, Kaisa, Kaisa. Um, okay, so I'll give you guys a little bit of context in, in, in just a bit, in just a bit. But it's so good to be back. Yes, indeed. I mean, good to see you as well. Welcome back. Uh, man, uh, it feels like I have not done this in quite a while. I, I don't know about you guys, especially those of you who are streamers here. Um, it feels like if you don't stream like for a week, right? It's like your mind suddenly it, it, your mind suddenly just switches off like for me uh especially if you like want to come back as a streamer right and you want to start streaming again uh even after one week of not touching you know the setup and stuff like that it feels very foreign to you right um and funny enough the moment i open obs you know and the moment i tried to power on all these lights and stuff around my room it also feels very like it feels like it's been a while since I did. In fact, the five days that I was away in Bangkok where I was not streaming, um, I had a really good break, by the way, um, in, in Bangkok. And uh, hey, man, I absolutely enjoyed myself there. As much as it was tiring, uh, it was a lot. It was tiring, but it was a fun holiday, I would say. Don't, don't you guys get, uh, get that feeling as well? Like when you go on a break, you're supposed to, you know, slow slow down, but you just want to try so many things at that place, right? To the point where, you know, um, you end up getting more tired <laughs> at the end of the day, you know? Uh, but I absolutely enjoyed myself in BKK. Uh, I will use the word BKK more often than Bangkok because a lot of people, when, you know, the, the, last, the last syllable does have some sort of sussy connotation if you ask me uh i'm experiencing that right i haven't streamed for a week wow yeah is it is it because you're busy maku also yes let me shout out a few people uh coming on in as well uh resi a's streamers uh let me shout out all the streamers here uh this is something that i always like to do before i start stream and as a matter of fact before i started stream wow okay this is why I, I maybe I should shout you out more often, Rezzy, because you, you you got some really interesting, really, really interesting content. <laughs> Twerking my way back in, of all things, <laughs> coming back and seeing a clip of you twerking, yeah, that absolutely makes my day. <laughs> of course, it's this clip. Uh, oh, you're busy with job hunting. Oh, you're okay. You're looking for a job now, huh? Well, I think. Uh, I think I have that soul soul wins soul soul Mr. Soul wins uh also um I think he just started his job not too long ago as well. Uh you probably can get some, you know, encouragement from him with regards to that. Were you like schooling before this and thus now you graduated and that's why you're looking for a job or you left your previous job? How was my vacation? Okay, so as I was saying, my vacation was fantastic. Uh, it was tiring because there was a lot of walking, there was a lot of planning, there was a lot of packing. Um, you know, when you go on vacations like this, right, you want to experience as many things as you want or as you can in that country, right? But uh, at the same time, you're rushing from one place to another, basically because you're scared that you don't have enough time to, to try everything, right? Which is the case with... Uh, with me whenever I go for a holiday. But here's the thing. Uh, I feel that we did not give enough time to Bangkok. Because BKK, uh, as one of my friends, uh, Mr. Economic Rice, you may know him. Uh, he said that BKK is not something you can cover within a week. You need to give it at least 7 days. right? You need to give BKK 7 days um, 
you know, if you really want to try every single thing that's in it. Because seriously, even though it's just a small, I mean, it's, it's the capital of, of Thailand, right? You know, Bangkok, right? Um, even though it's just a city, it's in, in a, such a big country, there's so many things to do and so many things to try there. And guys, I must say, the food, the food there, let me give you a little bit of perspective, right? Uh, the food there, one meal is about the price of an MRT train ride, right? Uh, let's say you were take the you were to take the train from east all the way to the west, right? That is the price of a meal there. It is insanely cheap. Let me tell you that. And I think the crazy thing is, as I will mention later, the the, the grab rides as well is <laughs> pretty much the same thing. And your current job contract is ending at the end of the month. Uh, your off your boss of you. Oh, okay, so you are on contract. Um, and your boss offer you a three months extension, which means you can leave anytime. So you're always still debating on that. Okay, okay, can. Well, I would say now the job market is, I think, still pretty okay. The job market is quite okay, lah. So, I but I if you if you were me, right? Uh, I would use make the full use of that three months, just stay on, unless and actually I think you're in a pretty good state right now. Um, you can choose to leave whenever you want within that three months, right? So if let's say your current your, the next job you find needs you to join them immediately, then it's, it's not an issue. So I think you're in a really good spot. Also, of course, yeah. Let me shout out Mr. Maku Burata as well. Ah, oh, there's a few streamers here that I must remember. Like I said, it's been so long since I streamed. I like okay, not say very long, but it's been a week. But it feels like it's been very long. So forgive me if I overlook some of Wait, these pleasantries. What? Uh, the Maku Burata streams a variety of games. Uh, what? here he's no. kicking ass in... Is this Smash Bros? I and you were playing Master Detective. Oh, okay. I've what? not heard of that game in a while. <laughs> oh damn, that's a good game. Master Detective is a good game? Somebody... Oh, it's from, Dan it's from the creative minds of Danganronpa. Mm, okay, I can see the link. I mean, Danganronpa is a investigative game. Which, by the way, I've not completed another one of those games that's in my backlog. Which, I'm, 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 <laughs> my backlog of games is way too many. I, I still haven't even finished like Zelda, and I want to play Armored Core Six. You know, must say the full name. So, what, what the full name of Bang Bangkok? Right? Is that it? But yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Oh, you mean the full name of Bangkok? Okay, so. I, I, I know what Zenes is talking about. By the way, I should shout Zenes out as well. Zenes Games is... Uh, he's a very well-educated person in the area of games and stuff like that. So do hit him up, Variety Streamer as well. Uh, play Apex Legends. Hey, wait, Zenes, you, you have completed Jedi Survivor, I remember correctly, if I remember correctly. Yeah, last scene playing Final Fantasy 16! Uh, okay, yet another game. Uh, I'm gonna wait, okay, for Final Fantasy 16. I don't know how the review's been like. I've not been looking at the reviews. But, um. Is he. Are you snipe? Ooh. That's not a Mozambique, right? That's like the most irritating gun in, in the game. Game, what the fuck? What? Mozambique what? best weapon in game. Oof. That grappling did not work out for you. Ah, yes, so I've heard. So I've heard. The uh, Jedi Survivor did indeed get a patch. Uh, I'm still very hesitant on picking it up and playing it again. You guys know my history with Jedi Survivor. I was rooting for it so hard, but. Yeah. It just kept dying and dying on me. And mind you, my current gaming rig, PC, right? is pretty new and the fact that it keep crashing on my pc says a lot so i don't know about the new update i probably won't go back to it anytime soon actually i'm thinking whether or not i should go back to it the when the next game comes out if it ever does come out you know uh, which is jedi whatever tree you know yeah which they obviously haven't announced yet but yeah i'll probably lay off on that for a while uh but it's great that you missed uh sorry you completed it it might be a good idea for me to take the extension. I'm expecting the job application process to take quite a bit. Uh, yes, you should. Uh, if you were me, I would take the extension. I mean, it's more money. More money, more power, right? You know, I mean, the, the saying is more money, more problems. But in this case, you need, you need to live a little, right? So you, you probably need to pay for expenses and stuff. Oh, speaking of expenses, I have to pay my taxes this month. <laughs> Man. 
more money, more problems indeed. The more money you have, you earn, right? The more money you rack up, man, the more your taxes. It's insane. It's the first time I've seen my... And this is not a boast, by the way, guys. It's the first time I've seen my taxes, the bill, right? Hit four digits. That is actually crazy, guys. The amount of taxes here in Singapore. And immediately talking about that makes me miss BKK already because I'm... Everything there is just so cheap. <laughs> uh, it's more like since you're so deep, you really want to finish it. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, but see, I've, I've broken the momentum. It's a bit hard to get back into it right now. Yeah. I, I feel for me. Pay will be lower, but at least I got some income. Oh, of course, of course. I mean, like anything will work, right? Anything to get that mo money, man. Yeah. Uh... Gives you another time because you're, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, I think it's not so much about the money, but it's allowing you time to really sit on it and think about it. So, uh, I wish you all the best in your uh, job search. Like seriously, seriously, uh, because I've been there before. Um, for m this current job that I'm working as a lecturer, right? I actually waited for a good. Whoa, how long did I wait? I think four months there. Eh? Like a good four months for HR to get back to me and say, hey, you're confirmed, you know, I mean, including all the interview processes and stuff in between because there's two interviews, three interviews, I can't even remember right now that I had to go through. It's pretty insane, especially if it's a government job. There's a lot of, you know, red tape, you know, surrounding all these hiring processes, which is crazy. So um, don't sweat it. I think take your time. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I mean, at, at least you're not in the you know VFX industry, which is uh, which is kind of taking a hit right now here in Singapore. As you guys know, uh, IL ILM Singapore recently shuttered its doors. Uh, ILM Singapore, I'm referring to, is the Industrial Light and Magic, the Lucasfilm arm here in Singapore, shut its doors. So about 300 over staff got laid off. Many of them, my friends, and uh, they are in the same state now where they're out looking for jobs a lot of them have applied to my place of work so we'll see how that goes four digit yes imagine paying four digits for your taxes <laughs> thank goodness it's the low end of the four digits not the high end if it's the high end <laughs> i can only imagine next year uh, we hit nine percent gst uh, I'm, I'm i'm buying stuff outside i'm going back to bkk to buy stuff to get my food and stuff i'm not like staying here i'm traveling out more often and, and, and by the way, yes, uh, traveling to BKK is really, really cheap, by the way. Uh, I think I only paid like about 100 plus for the air ticket return, by the way. So that was good. Benefits? Uh, don't remind me of the tax, which I have already paid months ago. Uh, okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that's the bane of uh, Singaporean's life, right? You know, death, taxes, and whatever else comes in between, right? They, they say only three things are certain in life. Uh, Death, Texas, and Tovakin is always late for stream. <laughs> Just kidding. I They always fill in the last sentence with something else. I don't even know what's the uh, right right quotation for that. Um, That's a very long way. What do you do during the four months? Okay, so I continued working, all right? Because my current place of work, uh, previously, I, I was working at IT, right? Uh, they get, it was a... Uh, what was it? A... Uh, was it three months notice? I had to serve three months notice, right? Uh, of which the two months were spent waiting. I uh, was, was spent working and then another two months were spent, like, you know, uh, waiting for them to get back to me. So you could say I actually throw a letter, right? Before I got a confirmation to, to, to start my lecturing job. Which is a huge leap of faith, by the way. Don't ever do that unless you're damn sure that you're going to be confirmed. And fortunately for me, you know, the person, you know, on, who was interviewing me, which is now my current boss on, on the side of NYP, actually, you know, affirmed that, yeah, it's like highly likely that, you know, he would get hired, but he, of course, they'll always say no promises, like, you know. A lot of friends affected by the, yeah, yeah, it, it really sucks. Um, thankfully, some of them got sent off to, you know, um, other studios. Most of them actually went to the Sydney studio or got put, at the Sydney studio. Uh, two of my friends actually went there. Uh, the rest kind of like, you know, are, are floating and then looking for jobs still, which is sad. Um, and in fact, not too long ago, uh, before the Lucasfilm collapse in Singapore, uh, there was a double negative uh, collapse, DNEC uh, as we call it. Uh, DNEC is another VFX company, uh, not a local, a foreign VFX company that did does a lot of visual effects work for movies as well. That, they were in Singapore and they also shuttered its door. So basically, there are no 
major I don't think there are any yeah actually there's no more major like VFX film companies here in, VFX companies here in Singapore which is really really sad um, and I'll tell you why I, I won't go into the the dirty the nitty gritty details of why people don't want to work here uh, or VFX why VFX companies don't want to set up here in particular but it's mainly it's uh it's really the you know the lack of tax rebates here in Singapore it, which only makes sense for them to set up elsewhere and honestly, the amount of talent that we have here in Singapore for VFX companies is very, very shallow. Um, like in terms of the pool, I'm not saying the, the talent is very shallow, but the pool of talent that we have is very shallow. So I can understand why, you know, ILM chose to shutter its doors. And Disney, by the way, is not doing very well as well. So <laughs> you put two and two together, you know, you have this huge, massive uh, waterfall effect. Yeah. My tax was at the lower end of three digits. Ah, yeah, that's that's where I started off with when I first started working. I, I wish I could go back, but that means, you know, less less income. So, and it's also sad to see the local media industry, sh industry shrink by a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, they did indeed. Oh, I'm, okay. So, just by reading that sentence, I understand that you also have friends there in the, uh, in the company, right? So, the thing is, the... News, right, when it came out, right, that was the same time that the staff there actually found out that, oh, they were gonna, they're gonna shut down door, their doors, right? So it came, it was very sudden, right? They did mention, you know, there, there, there were hint, they were, did hint at the staff that, hey, you know, maybe you should start finding another place of work along the way, um, you know, through the, through the different months and stuff. But they didn't, I think my friends, one of my friends told me they didn't expect them to, uh, dropped the bomb so quickly and so suddenly. It was just very sudden. Yeah, like there was there was there was a bit of hints saying that yeah, you probably should look for another place of work soon. But yeah, the the announcement, you know, everybody heard it. Even the staff, like even us, right? We heard it at the same time as they got the news. So that's quite um, it's quite tragic uh, actually to hear about that. Um, but fortunately, um. Two of my friends actually went to Sydney. Okay, and funny thing enough is the year before, two of my friends actually went over to the Sydney uh, site as well, the Sydney uh, Lucasfilm, um, because right, they actually wanted to work on different projects and stuff. I won't like again. I won't. I cannot spill too much of the details, but basically, they wanted to jump ship to another company. Uh, Lucasfilm counter offered, sent them to Sydney. So they kind of, they kind of hinted at me that yes, Lucasfilm. Uh, it, it was kind of a hint to them that okay, you know, the Singapore charter may actually be closing its doors because they can't afford to pay them any higher, and there were no like positions for them to 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 uh, promote to. Well, which is funny because here in the, the visual in the visual effects industry here in Singapore, right? Um, the Top management or middle management, right? Uh, or the middle positions usually are filled by people who are foreigners, <laughs> and usually you can't promote that quickly unless someone leaves, right? So it's always about a head counting, and people just weren't leaving, you know, uh, Lucasfilm at the time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, everything just came to a head, you know, and uh, now you know, uh, LM is just completely gone. Uh, which is funny, now they actually sold off the building. Uh, you guys know that they were staffed at uh, this building called the Sandcrawler Building. Beautiful building, by the way, a very beautiful building. Um, down, you know, in uh, one off there, right? Uh, but that building's been sold off to Black, Black, Black Rock Investment. I'm going to say Black Rock. <laughs> Black Rock Investment, right? Uh, those of you who are in the finance industry will know what Black Rock Investment is. Basically, um, they are an investment firm, right? Uh, they were sold off to them, so I don't know what they're going to do with the building. Hopefully, they keep the structure and, and stuff like that. Uh, and, you know, uh, I, I, more importantly, I just hope your friends, and I mean, I hope my friends also are able to find other jobs. Uh, I mean, my office is... There's, there's a huge influx of applications for people wanting to join my uh, join the teaching or join the lecturing role, but we have only so many positions um, that we can fill. Um, yeah, so I don't decide that. BlackRock is, uh, yeah, it's way too rich. Um, 
they are loaded, let's say. Uh, they even want to start their own crypto ETF, if I remember correctly, uh, which actually kind of caused like the crypto uh, markets to spike a little, I think, not too long ago. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what's come of that just yet. Now, crypto is a very sensitive thing, especially if you're in the US. Lah. Yeah. Hey, good evening, Mr. Omega. Hey, let me shout you out, man. Good sir. How are you, man? QBCE Omega. Oh, yeah, Mr. Omega. I need to talk to you about a new date to do our... Make it stop! Make it stop! How do I stop it? Wait, how do I stop this? How do I stop? How do I... Oh my god, okay, thank god it's over. Oh my wow. My... You need to clear up your clips. You need to clean up your clips, Mr. Omega. <laughs> don't blame me. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that works, uh, Rezzy. <laughs> I don't think that works. But yeah, Mr. Omega, as I was saying before I got distracted. Um, <laughs> yeah, we need to set up another time to do our... Uh, what's it called again? Twitch, uh, Twitch guest star episode. Our part two of the Twitch guest star episode. So I'll hit you up on that, right? But welcome. Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, yes, I am. I'm partially traumatized and scared as well. Uh, the yaw eye never ends, <laughs> man. I thank goodness I did not participate in that trend. Right? It's just so. I mean, looking bad, it is kind of cringe. I mean, everybody was just trying it at one point, but <laughs> I just felt it was really cringe. <laughs> I'm sorry. If it was still trending, I would have tried. You know, maybe for ten subs or something. I don't know. But anyway. Oh, you're taking a rest this week? Ah, okay, maybe like towards the end of September. Hmm, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, 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 I'll PM you, but uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, again, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, like I said, I just came back from a break myself from BKK. Had a lot of fun there. Uh, and I promised to share with you guys the highlights of the trip, uh, which will be very brief. I'm not just, I'm just not going to go into a whole details about every single step of the way that I, every single thing that I did uh, at, um, you know, BKK and stuff. Uh, but just the highlights. I unfortunately did not categorize them on my IG and I have not like, you know, uploaded them to my PC. Not a tech talk about B no. <laughs> no, okay. You want a tech talk about BKK? Let me tell you this about BKK, right? BKK, alright? You need to go. If you've not been to BKK in the past 5 or 10 years, right? You, you definitely need to travel down there because a lot of things have changed. So the last time I traveled to Bangkok, right? Jeez, uh, I can't even remember when's the last time I traveled to Bangkok. Uh oh, okay, it's the ad skin. Again, guys, yeah. Um, shilling out for kick. If you hate the ads, just pop on over there, right? Exclamation point punch, you know. Yeah, all, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm streaming. I'm cold streaming, right? Nobody ain't nobody gonna stop me. But um, uh, yeah, BKK was a uh, was a whole vibe. Um, it uh, here here's one thing I'll say. If you've not traveled there in the past, like five to ten years, you need to go back there because a lot of things has changed. Uh, I can't even remember. Okay, the funny thing is the last time I traveled to B to BKK, right, was just before I was just before my ex girlfriend, aka my wife, now became an item. Yeah, uh, it was before that we actually decided to date each other. <laughs> so that was like, how long ago was that? Shit. Uh... Yeah. Why? Why? Okay, thank you for the 30 bits, Mr. Omega, but <laughs> of all things, of all things, I appreciate that, though. I appreciate that. Oh, shit. See, you yell eyes so much until something drop. That's my jacket. <laughs> um, But yeah, you, you have to go back there because a lot of things have changed. Now, it's it kind of feels, traveling to, to Thailand kind of feels like um, you're going to, you're going to another Singapore. Right, except it's bigger, a little bit more less developed, but um, so much cheaper, and everybody speaks Thai. That's the only main difference between Thailand and Singapore. Things are way cheaper. Everybody speaks Thai. It's less developed, but you know, good food, good food, man. Uh, man, I tell you, 
I come back to Singapore, I take Grab, right? I, I get heart pain, eh? Because down there, uh, you take Grab, uh, I think from my hotel, and it helps that I actually stayed in Chinatown, uh, in, in, uh, where I was at BKK, right? So Chinatown is quite central to a lot of these attractions, you know, like Pratunam, uh, Icon Siam, and all that. Um, so it helped that we were near to all these areas. Um, and, uh, you know, the, 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 fee, the fares were quite cheap, I would say. I think on average, we paid about 160 baht. Which, uh, if I calculate correctly, what is 160 baht? Okay, 160 divided by 26, alright? Okay, so it's about $6 per, per, per ride, on average, by the way, on average, yeah. Better make sure you get it right, if not, the clip will be shown to... <laughs> no, it legit, legit. So before, after I came back from the BKK trip about like eight years ago, right? I actually uh, asked her if she wanted to be my girlfriend. Like immediately I came back. I remember I came back with a with a scarf. I came back with like a, a ton of gifts from her from Thailand, uh, which uh, which she obviously is, does not keep anymore. <laughs> right? I, that, that's how I remember my last BKK trip. So this is my first BKK trip with my wife, actually. Uh, that was with my friends. Yeah. You know what usually happens after they met, met me? They will say that they hate the song, but end up, the song how they get stuck in their head, they end up singing the song proudly. No, not me. Dude, I am terrible at Chinese, and uh, that song haunts me to this day. <laughs> so, you want, you're not gonna catch me singing it, right? Like I said, if you want 10 subs, right? You know, <laughs> 10 subs right there, all right? <laughs> on kick or on Twitch. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, Um, again, guys, if you have, like, you, you, if you wonder why a lot of streamers, by the way, go to BKK a lot, right? Like, you see people on Twitch going to Bangkok to stream. Uh, they go and they go to places like Vietnam and stuff like that. Malaysia even. Um, it's because it's really cheap. Now, it is uh, relatively safe as well. Um, but I wouldn't trust, you know, the... Um, the population, general population there. In general, it is quite safe, but I have friends who got pickpocketed in, in uh, Thailand and in Vietnam. Uh, so, uh, in terms of safety, I think just make sure you carry everything in the front. So, I really respect people that, you know, are able to do IRL streams in overseas countries and stuff like that. May I respect, you can probably have to carry a bunch of items around and you may actually lose stuff. Uh, I know Sukas, your idol... Uh, Mr. Omega, Sukas went to Vietnam not too long ago. Was it Vietnam or, or Bangkok as well? Uh, I think it was Vietnam. Uh, and he lost his wallet. Someone stole his wallet, right? If I remember correctly. Um, so, again, just this is why I've not done IRL streams in overseas countries just yet. Oh, is it Bangkok? Ex okay, so exactly my point. Exactly my point, right? So... Man, I, like, like I said, I, I told you guys, I think I, I think I put it on my Discord, by the way, exclamation point Discord, <laughs> right, if you want to find out when I'm streaming next. Um, this is why I don't have the courage, yes, I'm a pussy, right, I don't have the courage to stream uh, in overseas countries, unless it's well-known countries that are really safe, like Japan, right. And I'm actually planning to travel down to Japan uh, end of this year together with my wife, so I may do an IRL stream. Down there, I may. Japan is, it's, I, I think it's one of the safest places in the world. People there are so nice. Uh, I mean, relatively polite. Okay, I won't say they are nice in general, but they are polite, right? I will work hard for it and sing on and sing on our part two. <laughs> no, but then the thing is, if you if they give you the subs, the money goes to you, not me. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, yeah, like like I said, right? If you're planning to do IRL streams overseas and stuff, I I, I, I would say just take care of your belongings, you know, and uh, yeah, put everything in the front, lah, you know? Your belongings, you know, your wallet and stuff, your valuables should always be placed at the front. Not so important, you can leave behind all, then they slash take, no, no problem as well. Anyway, I also don't know how Sukas lost his wallet. I was just told uh, by a bunch of people, uh, from his stream that he lost his wallet. But it's 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 the risk that you run and you take la, uh, for clout law, as they say. Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, so going back to BKK, your last yeah, I know, I know you did a uh, you did a guest star with him not too long ago, and I, I'm sure he probably told you all the stories about you know his uh, you know his uh hap- the the stuff that he did in BKK. I'll get a ten on your stream, okay? I'll I'll will I'll I'll look f- I look forward to that. I look forward to that. Okay, I I need to uh hold on. Maybe it's best if I tell you guys the things that I did in BKK uh, through my Insta stories because that's where I've... And if you guys follow me on, on uh, my Insta stories, my Insta, you guys will know, you guys will have seen the things that I've done, you know, uh, in short form uh, throughout my BKK trip. I think going using Insta stories is the best way to post stuff uh, without, you know, it crowding or you know, polluting the timeline too much. Um, so... This is why I use Insta Stories a lot more than doing actual posts. But I may actually do a post uh, in of itself about my BKK trip. But honestly, by BKK trip, right, there was only two things that I would love to highlight, right? And it's the honestly, it's the two things that I only went uh, went for. Um, how would I say? It's the only two things that I was really looking forward to on this trip. So I would say those are my highlights. Huh? Okay, so um, the first one, of course, uh. This is a place that I've not been to before, I would say. Uh, although, yes, it's a very touristy attraction. Uh, and that is the... Uh, is it the, the Dom Mule? Is it the... So, sorry. Let me show you. Okay, this is going to be a bit of show and tell. Oh my goodness. This camera always turns out red. I swear, I don't know why. Give me a sec, guys. It's always problematic. You see, I don't stream for one week. All these problems start to pop up. Anyway, all these problems have been there. La. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Perfect. Uh, must be the juicy vendor. Yo, Dex, welcome in. Hey, shouts to you, man. Well, how are you, my dear mod? Mr. Dexifer, welcome in. Acknowledge, Acknowledge the mod. Uh, okay, the juicy vendor is not the highlight. Alright. Honestly, flash. she's a bit mid. Like, oh no, I'm this here. clip again. I'm here. Alright, we gotta get a jump scare, right? I'm here. <laughs> I'm not looking. <laughs> you miss a lot of blood. Dang. I'm here though. Hello. Okay, apparently she doesn't care about the flashlight. Nah, no jump scare. <laughs> I don't trust. I don't trust. <laughs> Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was, okay, that was a semi jump scare. <laughs> okay, but, okay, okay. The juicy vendor, okay, I know which juicy vendor you're talking about. Alright, so, uh, there is this certain night market um, in uh, in BKK called the Jot Fest Market, right? How this Jot Fest Market became so popular in BKK, right? Um, is basically because of this one lady that everybody says is very pretty, alright? But I thought she kind of mid, right? She just has very, very sharp features. So, uh, the lady in question I'm talking about is this lady that does the juice. She sells flu juice, right? As we Singaporeans like to call it, flu juice at this market called the Jot Fairs Market, right? So, there are two Jot Fairs Market. Um, the new one is next to this structure that looks like a castle, alright? That's the new one. Uh, this lady sells the juice at the old Jot Fest market, which is actually nearer to central area, where all your Pratunam, your um, your what what mall, uh, the MBK mall is Central World, uh, all those malls uh, where 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 they are at lah, you know, uh, Siam Square, that's where it's at, right? Um, and apparently the Jot Fest market became really popular because of her. But the funny thing is, when I went to a store, okay, in case you're wondering which lady I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about this lady, alright? Um, now, you you may recognize her from her TikTok videos where she wear very low, no, low cut clothes, then like expose a bit of the cleavage one, that kind, uh, and then she make the juice, then the thing jiggle. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> Mr. Tian Hao, alright? Those who, uh, you know who Tan Tian Hao is? Yeah, Tian Hao himself actually went to uh, patronize the store. When I went there though, and when she was making the juice, um, or, or rather, when she was not making the juice, when she was just waiting around for stuff. Dude, there was nobody there, there was nothing. Alright? Um, by the way, the juice that she sells, right? 
<laughs> it sounds very sussy, the juice that he, she sells. But you guys get what I mean. Um, okay, let, let's have a closer look. Now, the juice that she sells, by the way, down here, right? You see, it's 130 to 150 dollars, right? Uh, 130 to 150 baht, all right? Luna, is it? Is her name called Luna? I don't know. I don't know if it's a name called Luna. I just know that she is the flu juice girl, la. all right? Um, so you can see the price here is 130 to 150 a 150 baht, which equates to about 580 or 570, right? For a fruit juice, by the way, for a fruit juice, right? Now, the average price of a fruit juice there in the job fairs market is about um, um, 60 to 70 baht. So that will set you back about only $2 tops, $2, $2.50 each, like that, right? Uh, so she, she literally sells the juice at double the price, all because she's got... The looks, you know, uh, so <laughs> I went there and I thought, okay, I, I mean, I won't deny that she's pretty and stuff. And I'm not saying this because my wife was there with me, <laughs> right? She was with me while I was filming this, by the way, all right? Um, there was literally nobody there when she was not doing anything. But the moment somebody actually bought something like a fruit juice from, from her, oh my goodness, you should see there was a huge crowd. So literally everybody just flocked in there, right? Just to watch her, you know, tu zao, you know, and execute lah. Uh, one of the reasons why there was may not have been such a huge queue on that day itself uh, was probably because she wasn't revealing, uh, revealing. She wasn't wearing that much revealing clothes. Uh, my when I posted up this uh, Insta story, by the way, um, this one has a little bit of sound, I believe. Let me get that to work. What would, uh, let me see this. Have pretty girls. Actually, the girls would prefer uh, attention. Uh, I, and, I, and I think I, I tell people you look very pretty. Uh, and they say thank you. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Uh, I thought this was a very appropriate sound to use for this, uh, for this, for this, uh, for this uh, video. Alright. Uh, what's wrong with looking at pretty, what's wrong with looking at pretty girls, right? In fact, I think the pretty girls would love the Okay, I better not say it. Wait, gonna sue here, right? For defamation, right? Uh, apparently now he's uh, sending out letters uh, to people who have uh, who have used his name, who have tarnished his name, right? <laughs> That's so damn ridiculous. But anyway, uh, she got quite... <laughs> Indeed, she has, David, by the way. Yeah, welcome in. Oh, honestly, okay, okay. You want my honest opinion? Actually, her, her, her personality, yeah. Uh, not that great also, right? I went there, everybody, like, my wife was also saying that, oh, hey, hey, this is the, this is the lady that is popular on TikTok and on IG, you know, she make flu juice and all that kind of stuff, you know? And then I went there, I was like, okay, she's pretty, you know, she got the, uh, you know, by the way, yeah, she got the, uh, she got the possible, why is this showing up now? What's wrong with okay. looking at pretty girls? <laughs> She got, okay, she got the porcelain skin, she got the sharp features and stuff like that. But that's about it. And for that, she charges like double the price for the fruit juice. Like, seriously? Um, and honestly, I, I told my, my wife, like, hey, seriously, I actually, I may, I'm considering like buying from her the fruit juice. I may actually want to get the fruit juice from her just to try and see if it's anything different. But she said, no, not worth it. It's probably just going to taste the same. It's just that people get it from her uh, because she looks pretty. Yeah. Um, and I must say that, yeah, I mean, she, like I said, she, she has looks, definitely, for sure. Um, <laughs> but it's not going to make me buy the fruit juice from her. And as I said, there was literally nobody there at the stall until someone actually went to buy the juice and then she started making it and there was like i tell you if you you've seen like a zerk horde right like literally there were people in sitting around nearby getting up just to you know shoot her and film her you know doing the the fruit juice so it shows one thing people are just there for the performance and not the end product itself uh, yeah the other fee is the gawking <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, technically, yes, it's the gawking fee, which is why I put up this uh, this sound. Right. What's wrong with looking at pretty girls? Actually, the girls would prefer uh, attention. Uh, I, and, I, and I think I, I tell people you look very pretty uh, and they say thank you.
Yep. What's wrong with you? Oh, uh, I would say, uh, let me turn off the sound, that's really loud. Uh, I, I, I used, I actually feel this was the highlight of the Jot Fest. Uh, it's actually Pancake. Uh, okay, if you guys can't see, right, it's called, it's Cartoon Pancakes. Yeah. OMG is Sanic. Yeah, that's why I, I used this soundtrack. Uh, sorry, I know it's really loud. Um, <laughs> But yeah, this is why this this was the highlight of the job fairs for me. For me, freaking cartoon pancakes, man! You can see there's a whole lot of stuff that's like going on down there, right? So you got um she this this lady can make uh crayon shinshan um lapi xiao sing, uh I think she was making a sailor moon somewhere. Um, there is the I think that's I don't know what character is that. It looks looks like a frog or something. Oh, it looks like a character from Toy Story, but someone actually ordered a Sanic. Yeah. Sass Anya. Where, 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 there's an Anya. Oh yeah, there's an Anya. There's a Sass Anya below. Yes, 86. <laughs> yeah, and there's a manga. So she can make a whole list. It looks like Mike, yeah. It could be Mike Wazowski. It maybe is Mike Wazowski. Uh, if you look at the bottom part here, it could also be the aliens from the claw machine as well. I think, I think. Yeah. Uh, but she okay. So there are more than a hundred combinations that she can make. Not hundred combinations, but there are more than a hundred, hundred of these characters that this lady can make, right? And to me, this was the highlight. So, uh, you can imagine how amazed I am. In fact, her store was way more crowded, uh, consistently more crowded than the lady who was making the fruit juice. So to me, this was like wow, thumbs up. And I'm glad someone actually made Sanic. <laughs> Gotta go fast, you know. Uh, she made Gandusi, uh, Gand <laughs> Gandasi, <laughs> Gansasi. Okay, she makes, um, she, I think, I don't think there's Gundam. Uh, I think there may not, but there's, there's Ultraman, there's Batman. Okay, so I ordered a Batman pancake. Um, and this pancake is a pancake that has filling. Uh, the, the Batman pancake, unfortunately, I did not upload it to my Insta stories because by the time I was done with the Jot Fest market, right, I was, I was pooped. Alright, I was tired. I didn't post any more stories after that. Uh, so, <laughs> but this is pancake with filling, by the way. So you can choose to put like either peanut filling, chocolate filling, or I think... Was it Thai? Thai iced tea, the filling. You know, the, 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 the flavoring for Thai iced tea? Yeah, you can put the, that, that filling in, apparently, as well. So it's really cool. I thought this was the absolute highlight of the market. Not some lady that, you know, is trying to show off her personal. I mean, personality is great and all, but yeah, I, I thought this was a, was a better, this was a better representation of what you can expect at the Jot Fairs market. By the way, if you're on BKK, 100%, 110%, I recommend you guys go to ev all the night markets as much as possible. And uh, the Jot Fairs market, this one, Right, uh, it's just one of the two job fairs market that's there. So you should guys, you guys should go for both. I can tell you there is a lot of things to check out there. Uh, one thing that I did not upload as well to my Insta stories is you guys know right that there's this thing uh, that's quite popular among the people there right now that's trending called the 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 jumping shrimps. Right, the jumping shrimp like you know, um. It's like some kind of raw jumping shrimp food. Lah. So basically, they have the, this bunch of jumping shrimps like in the water and stuff. And then, you know, uh, they put it in the food and you're supposed to eat it live. Did I eat that? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. It looks too unsanitary in, in my opinion. Yeah. I'll show you guys a video. Let me, maybe I'll show you guys a video of what exactly I mean. Since I did not actually eat it. It's called jumping shrimp. I think it's just jumping shrimps. Okay, so it was at the job markets. Uh, live small shrimp shake with pepper and... Yes. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I think this guy... So it looks like that. Uh, they literally put... It's like a jumping shrimp salad. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Okay, so this... Okay. This is actually at the job fest market. I kid you not. Alright. There's this huge basin of jumping shrimps. And... They, they they mix it in with some salad and some and some clear noodles. They put some spice in there. Yeah, they put some seasoning. And uh, okay, it's dancing shrimp, not jumping shrimp. 
Um, the shrimp is not okay. It, it is still jumping. Oh my god. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so I I took one look at it and it's like, nope, too unsanitary, dude. Like I I, I ain't eating that shit. <laughs> Shan, do you die of blood for? Yeah, I I ain't doing it. I ain't doing that. Uh, looks tasty. Um, but if you see it live, <laughs> I think you might think twice about having it. Uh, there was also the usual like um, what you call it? Uh, there was also the usual um maggots. You know, the fried maggots, fried uh, fried crickets and stuff like that were there. I did not eat any of those as well because it looks really scary, and I wanted to enjoy the rest of my trip. This was we went there only on the was this on the. We only went there, went there, went to this place on the second day. This was the second night. And I was like, shit man. If I'm gonna fall sick like on the second day and I have another three more days, I, I, I'm i gonna stay healthy and just eat proper food. So that, that was my mindset, you know. Sorry, this was... So this was the third day. This was the third day, yes. This was on the third day. Uh, I can't eat pepper for shit, but I want some. Uh... Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, fried, fried maggots and crickets. Yeah, both fried. Yeah, high in protein, but hell no. <laughs> okay, so, so this remains the highlight for me at the, at the Jot Fairs market, okay? Um, but yeah, hard pass on the, uh, on the lady. <laughs> Again. The girls would prefer, uh, attention. I, uh, and I, and I think I, I tell people you look very pretty. Uh, and they say thank you. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I, I put there that this was meant as a joke in case a certain Tan wants to sue me for defamation. Anyways, in my Insta Stories archive already. <laughs> okay, so um, how long did you plan on making us look at her personalities? No, I'm not planning. Okay, never mind. Then I'll move on then. Okay, but to me, this was another highlight of the trip. All right. Uh, the floating market. So I don't know if you guys have been to uh, the floating markets before. That's one of the um, one of the main tourist attractions that you usually will go to uh, when you go to Thailand. And I've never been to a floating market before. Never in my life. Uh, everybody says that it's very touristy and stuff like that. I I I it dep and I would beg to differ because it really depends on which tour guy actually brings you along. Now, for the floating market, by the way, I don't know any of these people, okay? They were just peep. This, this was just a family that was attached to our tour group and stuff. I booked the tour of this floating market together with a tour of the train market, okay? Yes, okay, so it was a tour of the floating market and the train market uh, all in one package, okay? And I booked it through Klug. I booked it through Klug, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a half a day... It's a half day tour of the floating market and the uh, train market. A very short one because honestly, uh, there's nothing much to see there unless, right, uh, you plan to to buy buy some stuff. But mainly, you're just there to check out the whole phenomenon of how they buy and sell stuff in the in the water and stuff like that. And also on top of that, um, the train market, you know, to show like how they pull back the the blinds and um, the the shutters and stuff when the train comes. You know, it's it's quite a sight, lah. I'm sure that I say shit, please educate me. <laughs> no, I mean you should I'm I'm telling you guys now, so I'm telling you guys right now, right? Like if you are like, you know, short on budget by the way, um, you know, BKK is a good place to go to. Like Bangkok is really a good place to go to. Very inexpensive. In inexpensive in terms of, you know, the travel, um, the flight, uh the accommodation as well. Uh, our accommodation was, I think, what, less than 100 per night. And we stayed at this hotel called uh, Asai, uh, Asai Chinatown, right? So Asai Chinatown is a really new hotel chain. Um, it's a Japanese hotel chain. Um, and it, was, it's, it has a very zen look and stuff like that. Very vibey. Um, so we stayed there uh, for the entirety of our trip uh, in Bangkok. It was a really nice place, very zen. Um, I'll show you pictures about that later. But yeah, that was one of the places you should definitely go to. Um, even if you are introverted, right, just follow along to her. You don't have to talk to no, none of these people. Uh, this family, by the way, was Singaporean. Don't know who they are, don't care. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, it was quite cool, uh, this floating market tour. And by the way, please book the floating market tour through Klook, right? We booked this tour through Klook, and I think it was about, uh, it was less than $50 per person, right? 50, less than 50 packs per person. And the trip, right? Uh, this, this tour of the two markets, okay? Even then, uh, they provide you with this very nice uh, coconut pudding at the start of your trip. So we went there like super early in the morning, by the way. Uh, I think we had to be at uh, Siam Square. Was it Siam Square? Yeah, we had to be at Siam Square uh, at 7 in the morning. Right, because we wanted the rest of the day to ourselves. So we booked an early morning tour of both markets, right? So um, we went to Siam Square, right? Uh, at 7 a.m., okay? Uh, because from Bangkok to the floating market itself, it's about two hours travel, right? By bus or by car, right? So you definitely cannot catch a public transport there because you catch public transport there, you're done so, right? Uh, Grab is going to be very expensive if you want to travel out. Uh, so I recommend taking a tour group, doing a tour. And the best one to to get is from Kluka, right? Uh, less than $50. You get a bunch of goodies as well. So uh, they gave us some really nice coconut, coconut pudding to, to start things off with. And uh, yeah, then they started to bring us to the... Uh, eh? Okay, yeah, they started to drive us. Oh, so this whole thing is on a sort of like a speedboat. Uh, the motor is really loud, by the way. We're at the loading uh... market already. All right, you can't really hear the motor because uh, I think he was slowing down the boat at this time. But this is basically how it looks. Uh, people just selling um, stuff um, along the riverbed. Okay, so... Um, this floating market, right, there is two sections, okay? So we are currently in the um, old section. Is it the old section? Yes. We are currently in the old sec in the old market. This is the old section of the market, I believe. Yeah, this is the old, old section of the... Is it old here? I can't remember. It could be old or new. Um, but we were told not to buy stuff here at this market. I think it may be the new section, okay? So there's two sections of the, the floating market, okay? This is the new section, and the tour guide told us don't buy anything from here because the prices here are absurd. Uh, he said wait till he brings us to the original uh, floating market, which is further down, then you go and buy stuff there. That one, the prices are more reasonable. Uh, so we held off, but this is basically how it looks. Um, yeah, so this is the new section of the floating um, of the floating market. By the way, um, this floating market, right? I don't know how many of you have watched this movie called Anna and the King. Uh, this whole floating market, apparently, it's man-made, right? It's man-made because um, he want the the king apparently wanted something unique to show off, you know, to Anna, um, you know, the the foreigners and stuff. So he actually, um, you know requested that this unique floating market be built right in order to show off lah, basically right so there were two floating markets so he built an old one but he felt the, the he built the original one but the original one apparently wasn't um uh, good enough so he decided to build a new one right that's why there's two floating markets okay both the old and the new so if you go there don't buy anything at the new one right because they will they'll koto you lah, okay koto basically means that they will they will sell you things at very cutthroat prices, as I will show you later, lah. Right. Um, okay. So this is the new float, the new section of the floating market, uh, and then the tour guide brought us to the OG floating market, right? Uh, which is less cutthroat, right? Uh, has more reasonable prices, and I think down there, um, there is this lady that he recommended us to get the Thai boat noodles from. Okay, so in case you're wondering where the idea or this term Thai boat noodles came from, it actually came from the floating market because basically the Thai people would sell these noodles, okay, at this floating market, right? And they will pass hand it. They will they will, they will make the the Thai boat noodles as you will see, uh, and they will hand them out to the people along the riverside. So um. Okay, I don't know how to translate this, like, banner and stuff, but it looks like a hawker center kind of, a coffee shop kind of banner, right? 
Uh, but that's basically how people set up their stalls along the riverside. They just put up one banner and then they just sit there and they they cook. <laughs> they let them cook, right? Uh, so this this um so I, I, the the tour guide is just basically introducing and telling us like the different types of noodles that she can cook. Now Thai boat noodles here in Thailand, right? They are a little bit like um bar tommy. The only difference is that they use the clear noodles. Right? It's like bihun, but it's clear lah. The clear version, you know? Um, and they basically mix that in with similar items that you get in bar tommy, right? Or mincemeat noodles as we call it here in Singapore. Um, but the, the, for her, the main difference is that she got freaking onsen egg in there, right? So this lady, right, apparently is an award-winning... Um, like, she won awards for making this Thai boat noodles, right? So she makes many different kinds of Thai boat noodles, as you can see. So you got the original, dry, you got the tom yum, soup, you got the less spicy one. Goodness, I'm I'm just mouth my mouth my, my mouth is just watering just by talking about this. Um <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Yeah. The literal yeah, so I said the literal literal real boat noodles here. The literal literal real boat noodles. I'm getting tongue tight. Okay, so we ordered the, the tom yum, the not so spicy tom yum flavored soup noodles as you can see. Really looks like uh, the Badok uh, 85, the Ba Tsao Mi la. Uh, thanks for the hell hydrate by the way. Hmm. So you can see she uses the clear, it's, it's like clear noodles. Uh, and then yeah, she just she just tosses like the uh, just puts the egg there. And there we go. That's the uh, Thai boat noodles. Literally, it looks like bar chow mee, alright, with soup. Bar chow mee soup lah, alright, with onsen egg. Okay, but the the noodles uh, hit different uh, definitely. Glass noodles, glass noodles, but she uses glass noodles. Yeah. Um. Oh, and uh, I think one thing cool about this is that um. Oh, so Thai boat noodles apparently as well has peanut paste inside, she put some peanut in, peanut paste inside which makes it really really tastier as well. Uh, so just a close out of that. Looks pretty good huh? Alright. Guys don't worry. This is just one of the highlights. Uh, one of the highlights alright, that I went to Bangkok for. I was looking forward to it in BKK. There's a second one. There's a second one which I think you guys will be more interested in after I'm done with all this food stuff and the, uh, and the uh, floating market stuff. Yeah. Right, but it looks really good. I I, I would I would one hundred percent go back for this. But anywhere you go, right, uh, in Thailand, you know the Thai boat noodles is fantastic, lah. Right. Um, to me, the main selling point about this her her one is that it's got the freaking onsen egg there, which by the way is really good. Right, goes really well with the noodles. Um, uh, and yeah, apparently this lady, uh, talking about this one, right. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just really cool with the hat as well. Um. I should have zoomed in, but <laughs> look at the headdress, man. That that's called dedication, right there, right? Uh, that's how you that's how you market yourself, right? Putting a huge like spit tune on your head. Anyway, <laughs> I shouldn't be making fun of people like that, but yeah, her her, her noodles really good. Uh, really make um having something unique like that really make her stand out. But then again, you can go anywhere in BKK, and you know the Thai boat noodles will be just as great. Uh, I I I feel I personally feel, right. Ah, uh, man. Okay, I'm missing this. Also, let me tell you this. Um, if you're wondering what this is, this is actually Thai milk tea, alright? Um, but don't be alarmed at the amount of so-called condensed milk that you see there, over here. This is not condensed milk. Uh, this is carnation milk, alright? If this was condensed milk, this would be this would this would be diabetes. I would like die of diabetes on the spot. Okay, but thank goodness it's carnation milk. Funny enough, when she was making this, right, um, she she said this was this is the actual the actual like um, how would I say the actual measurements that most Thai iced tea makers use. Okay, when making Thai iced tea, lah, right. Um, so, actually, if once you put it in a glass, as you can see here, right, in a cup full of ice like that, it's actually not that sweet after, uh, after a while. Because you, you're supposed to let the ice melt a bit, right, 
to make it a bit more bland so it does not come off that sweet, alright? But holy crap, uh, let me just rewind this real quickly for you guys. I, I know I'm making some of you hungry, so I hope you guys have had your dinner. Alright. Uh, you can see that this is the actual amount that most of them use, alright? But funny enough, after she poured it in, you know, and it mixed together with the ice, I think the sweetness is just nice. And holy crap. Ah, oh, looks so good. Oh, man. Right. And, and then when I saw this, and when, this, she, when she did it, when she did this, right, at the back of my mind, because at this point, I didn't know it was it was not condensed milk. I didn't see that it was uh, carnation milk. And I was like, bro, like, that's a, that's a little too much, girl. Like, yo, hold your horses, man. But actually, it's it's carnation milk. I'm going to make a Tay Tarik now because of this. Around two, jeez. Uh, round two, yeah. So there's round, but like I said, it's not, it's not condensed milk. And then you cup it up. Okay. By the way, uh, this one hundred percent better than the ch the cha cha mui thing that you guys see. At you guys know that there's this brand right at the uh uh Pasar Malam that has been selling Thai iced milk tea, which is the cha the cha cha mui. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, apparently that is their na their own national brand that makes. Thai iced tea. So you know how we have Li Ho, we have Koi um, selling bubble tea, right? Over there, Cha Chua Mui, alright, is their Thai iced milk tea um, brand, right? Uh, or should I say, um, what, what's the word for it? Franchise, okay, is their Thai iced tea franchise brand down there, alright? Uh, after we drank this, it was like, yeah, we're not, we're not drinking like Cha Chua Mui ever. We are going for like the, the real deal. And this is the real deal, right? Because Cha Chua Mui, the, the Thai iced tea, uh, uh, you can tell, you know, it's a little bit processed. This is straight up. But okay, then again, Thai iced tea is all of it is processed, right? To some extent. But this is definitely way better, you know, seeing it being done right in front of you. Like, oh, chef's kiss right there, okay? Uh, and I don't care how sweet it was. I was just going to sip it, and it was it was it was fantastic, right? So, um, yeah, I think this is the one of the few highlights from the uh, from this itself, right? So the boat noodles. Uh, we also ate some coconut pancakes. They are really well known for their coconut pancakes, by the way. Uh, and when we say coconut pancakes, they look like putu piring size pancakes, right? So it's pancakes that they make into the size, very very small size and stuff, you know, and they lay them out. You know, and then they, they they mix it together with some coconut milk, and then they serve it to you. That was fantastic. I didn't take any videos of that because, like I said, you know, this, this two this two was enough for for highlight itself already. But yeah, fantastic. I love it. I love it. Uh, so that's why I call it white incarnation, right? <laughs> okay. So after that, we proceeded to the. Okay. Uh, we proceeded to the Miklong. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced, Miklong Railway Market. So you guys may have seen like, um, you may you guys may have seen videos of this market where you know there are a lot of people selling uh, stuff along the rail tracks, and up, and when the train is like about to pass through the area, they start to keep everything you know as the train is rolling along. Uh, so this was the market that is at now. By the way, the floating markets, right? Um, there's a couple of them. Actually, there's four floating markets in BKK. Uh, well, not really in BKK, but at the outskirts of BKK. So, if you stay at the central area of BKK, right, if you want to travel out to these floating markets, you definitely need to be able to drive or find some kind of tour guide to bring you there, right? So, there's, there's four floating markets. And I think the train markets, there's two. There's two of them. Alright, so this is one of them, uh, the Meklong Railway Market, alright? Uh, by the way, this tour guide of ours, uh, he's called Mr. Law. Alright. Alright, so I really love listening to him, right? Even though he spoke in Chinese, because our English tour guide, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the English really cannot make it. <laughs> really, really CMI. But this guy's Chinese is so good, eh? It's, this is what you call Piao Zun Huari, and he's a Thai national, by the way. Right, he's a local by the way, but he speaks really good Chinese to the point where I was like, yeah, I'm listening to this dude. I'm not listening to, like, to the English tour guy, right? The English tour guy, well, it was like really hard to understand him. And given, given, okay, most of them, they, they are better at Chinese, like, you know, because of just how 
they have been so attuned to speak their language in certain parts like that, you know. When I saw this, I thought you were in Thailand. Exactly, right? Exactly. I think he learned his Chinese. He might have actually learned his Chinese from Taiwan. Yeah. I w and I won't be surprised if, if, that, if that was the if that was the case. But he was he was he was he was yeah. I just love listening to him compared to to the English guy. Yeah, so this is the famous train track market as you can see. Everyone trying to snap pictures before the train <laughs> rolls along. So I, I think one thing is very interesting is that there have been locals that have actually capitalized on this train market, right? So much so that if you... Okay, let me rewind this a bit. So much so that if you look behind this group of people down here, right? There's actually a railway market cafe behind there, right? Where you literally can sit there. And by the way, you have to pay cafe-like prices down there, right? So you sit there, uh, you, you eat your meal, you drink your, your Thai iced tea and whatnot, right? You eat your mango sticky rice, which was really good, by the way, the mango sticky rice there, right? Um... Just go to the big long like railway market and go to you know the cafe that is at the start of the train tracks, right? And then then you you'll be able to taste the same uh what's that? Mango sticky rice, you know, that, that that I had over there. So yeah. Um this this, this is how the locals actually capitalize on this whole railway market thing, which is really epic. Right? And again, I can't stress, say, say enough about my tour guides like, like Chinese. Like, really, Piao Tzu the party. This is what I call Piao Tzu the party, you know. And he spoke so well. And now, of course, yeah, we gotta do a touristy shot. Uh, by the way, this was taken by the tour guide. Uh, yeah, yes, guys, don't look at the dead bot over here. I have a paunch, yes. This is, this is how much I actually ate in Bangkok. I ate so much that, you know, my, my tummy is kind of showing. Uh, you, you can't really see it now because I kind of, like, worked it off already. Sort of. Alright, um, but man oh man, I just got reminded like how much I actually ate. Uh, but kudos to the tour guy, he actually took a really good shot of us. He was like, okay, well, you know, then he, he asked us to put our leg, uh, our leg forward. So like if you have your, like if you have, if a couple, if you have a couple shot, right? So you put your, Either your left leg forward or your right leg forward. And then immediately you look like, wow, you're very slender. Now, obviously, it didn't help me much, but it helped my wife a lot more. <laughs> right? Uh, but actually, that's one of the shots that um, they will teach you. Like, if you want to look more slim, if you want to look taller, right, just put one leg forward, right? And use wide angle, right? Which is what he did, right? I didn't even need to tell him what to do. He just auto took the shot and said, Okay, put your jaw in the front, put your jaw in the front, put your jaw in the front, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Boom. Uh, and then took a few more shots with like tourists <laughs> and stuff. Uh, it was really hilarious because, yeah, it was so hard to just take a solo shot because there's just a huge crowd down there. Everyone was just trying to walk along the tracks, you know, taking pictures and videos and stuff. Uh, so I had, to, I had to mask the faces with emojis. I uh, thought it was quite hilarious though. Um, lovely shot by the way. And uh, I think it kind of ruined the picture because of all the people that's behind. But it's very hard to get a clean shot. Unless unless um, you don't have any... Actually what we should have done is waited for the train to pass right. And then the crowd disperse and then we take the shot you know. Yeah. And this was kind of before the train was coming. So actually, they have, re they have removed some of their items already from the uh, from the storefront already, right? Uh, so this was when the magic happened. Okay, they have folded down. They're folding up their stuff, guys. Uh, they're right, so it even the, the they tentage, it, everything, oh. they got the key. There we go. Let's fold it up. Get away for the train to yeah, come. It's like, it's like clockwork, guys. Uh, by the way... If you look at the ground down here, right, there's this red line over here. Right? I don't know if you guys can see this red line over here. Now, that, that red line is to tell you, yeah, don't stand at the... Make sure you stand behind that red line as the train is passing, right? So if at anything at the storefront, you should make sure that it's behind the red color line before the train moves past, right? So that, that's the indication to show that, you know, uh, you're safe. By the way, even with if you stand behind the red line, the train is actually very, very close. I will show you yeah, in just a bit yeah, with uh, a little bit of a uh, soundtrack that you might be familiar with. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I just had to put this soundtrack. And that's how close the train is, by the way. Um, now.
this is this is an actual train uh, that you can take by the way all right uh that travels from i think one end of bangkok to the other right it's a really old train and there's a bunch of tourists in there and stuff as you can see right actually they're all tourists lah yeah they're all also filming us we're filming them then 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 they're also filming us like animals right so i wonder who, who are the animals here <laughs> that that's how close we are guys like you literally can say hi to them like in in the middle of the you know of the whole thing so um but but if you can put up with the six hour travel for this from one end of bangkok to the other um it's a six hour tr train ride by the way all right a six hour train ride and most people take this train just for the fun of going through you know the railway market and stuff but i was like heck no i'm not taking this six hour train back to bangkok and stuff <laughs> so i decided to like yeah just you know yeah it's a six hour train right legit guys you can see all the tourists there i, I was kind of tempted to like you know i was wondering like if what happens if there's like some cheeky guy uh, run up and just grab the one of the phones away you know what's gonna happen right like is, is the is the poor tour uh, the tourist is gonna like freaking jump out and like so grab the stuff back by the way like i saw this i saw this this lady holding the 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 phone out right you know i was like what if i reached out and grabbed it you know <laughs> she, like, how is she gonna react you know intrusive thoughts by the way yeah guys don't don't do that you know you, you'll probably get arrested <laughs> but yeah that that's it and just like that they return back to normalcy <laughs> Yeah, just like that, we, they return back to normal sea. And a lot of their <laughs> items, by the way, are on, you know, push cards, which I thought was really creative. So, like, you just push the card back out with your items, you lock it, and then the train comes again, you just wheel it back in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> just like that, as you can see, just like that, right? The whole, it's, 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 it's almost like magic, actually. And so, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then we just got so tired at the end of the day after this whole market thing. Uh, I know it was like we woke up really early just to go to Sime Square, just to uh, you know get to the uh, get to the market itself. Um, so after that, we were just so, we just went to have like a simple dinner with Kat at Katsuya as you saw just now. Uh, let me, yeah. Uh, by the way, I didn't know there's such a thing as Katsuya. You know, you guys know, right, that there's this three major, like, um, three major Donburi chains, right, in Japan, right? Um, there is Yoshinoya, there is Matsuya, and there's Tsukiya. Uh, so, Tsukiya and Yoshinoya in Singapore, Matsuya is, has yet to come to Singapore, right? Um, but these are the three major Donburi brands, right, or Donburi houses uh, in Japan. I didn't know there was such a thing as Katsuya. Can anybody like verify this for me whether or not like there's actually such a thing as Katsuya in Japan, right? Which basically they sell Katsudon, lah, you know? Um, so if that's the case, then really there's a fourth one lah, in that sense. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, correct. Right. So there's four, then there's Tenya as well, apparently, right? Uh, but I, I don't see a whole lot of Tenya when I was in Japan. I, I saw mainly Yoshinoya, uh, Sukiya, and uh, Matsuya, I, I have not. I only seen probably just one Tenya when I was in uh, when I was in Japan. Um, throughout my entire time there, and there's Katsuya now. I don't know. Can anybody like verify this? Like, if I go to Japan, probably end of the year, uh, I might keep a lookout for this brand because it was really good, by the way. Look at that, right? So think of Katsuya as like the Katsudon version of Sukiya. You know, the Donburi that serve as, uh, as Sukiya. So we were so tired, uh, we just decided to settle for some simple food, but this was really good, by the way. Uh, like, recommend you guys check it out, like, if you're in Thailand, but if you're there, like, just, just eat the Thai food there, lah, you know. <laughs> Still the cheapest option. Uh, what else? Uh, so that's basically it. Um, this is where we stayed, by the way. Uh, those are the highlights. Uh, that's one of the highlights from my trip to BKK. And, and this is where we stayed. We stayed at uh, Chinatown. Uh, this was on the Saturday night, which is our fourth day down there. Sorry, no, this is this was on our third day, Friday, right, down there. 
Um, so they have like basking, they have students out, you know, singing songs and stuff like that, you know, down there. Um, she's got a... So it was really cool. Um, like any anywhere you go in BKK, right, can literally be a night market because it just depends on how you portray it. By the way, there's a really giant like dragon head down there uh, in the shopping center, which I thought was really, really interesting. I was living next to Ryogoku Station where the sumo trains. Uh... Oh, the sumo trains. Okay, Tenya, like 50 meters away, decided to have it for a while on the breakfast. Was it good? Like, was it any good? Okay, so I've only tried Matsuya Sukiya Yoshino. I've not tried Tenya or if there's a Katsuya even. I think both are. Like, okay, so Sukiya and Matsuya are kind of the same, I feel. Like, there isn't really much difference between the beef and stuff. Yoshinoya, yeah, I, I kind of feel the standard a bit. Like, drop already, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think it's this, it's either these two brands, you know, Matsuya or Sukiya, that, 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 that does it for me, right, you know. Um, very fresh, a little pricey compared to other stuff, cause got, cause got tempura. Oh, cause, oh, they serve tempura as well. Oh, okay. Well, 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 okay, I, I may have to go and check out Tenya. It, when, when you say Tenya, is it like the... Is, is it spelled with the Tian? Is that how they spell the, the ten in Tenya? The Tian, the Tian Zi? Tenya? Uh, okay, I would assume so, right? Because it's supposed to make make it sound like it's heavenly, you know, and stuff like that, right? Okay, I'll check it out if I, if I find a Tenya. Like I said, I've only seen one Tenya, you know, um, that one Tenya brunch when I was like in Tokyo, in Japan, the last time around. I, I can't even remember whether or not it was in Tokyo or not. Oh yeah, then of course, y'all got to go Chatu Chak Market, but that's kind of part of the course, like, you, you, you just need to, like, it's one of the touristy places they should visit. By the way, Chatu Chak Market, even though it's touristy, uh, the prices there are still pretty cheap. Like, a lot of the stuff there is really, really cheap. Um, there's this cafe, you know, like, smack dab in the middle of, like, the Chatu Chak, like, craziness, chaos. Yeah, but that's about it. Uh, not gonna lie, tempted to go to Japan. Yeah, I mean, if you can afford it, sure. I think... Um, before CNY, the prices to travel there should be cheaper because it's not the holiday period. I may have to shill out a bit more money um, going to um, Japan end of the year, basically because the whole world might just be traveling there. You know, uh, it's crazy. The other day, I just saw that during this like holiday period, the recent holiday period, the ticket prices were like one thousand no, for a return trip. A return trip, man. It's insane. Like, I can't remember the last time around a ticket price was like four digits just going to, you know, somewhere nearby, like Japan. Okay, it's not saying nearby, but, you know, relatively near, you know, like Japan, which is crazy. Um, but I think just the week, like, next week, right? Like, I have uh, my boss is actually flying to Japan next week, right? Um, I heard the prices were actually, like, slashed for next week. Uh, so if you're planning to go for a last minute trip, maybe you can consider, <laughs> right? Uh, I was thinking I'd like, go there and then come back before the weekend. Really? Uh, that, that will be very rushed there. Eh. That will be very rushed eh, in my opinion. But if you know what you want and know you know where to go, then yeah, go for broke, man. Go for broke. Uh, but yeah, okay. Anyway, this is not the highlight that I want to show you guys. There is another highlight that I would love to show you. I don't know if I put it up, um, wait, did I put it up? Is it here? Okay. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, Cha Cha Mui, alright. This is the, uh, this is the franchised Thai iced tea brand that I was telling you about. Um, the Thai iced tea, uh, kind of mid, after we tried, like, the other ones. So, Cha Cha Mui, okay, but it's not too bad, uh, still. Uh, you may have seen this brand, like I said, in you know the uh, in the uh, night market, sorry, night market, night market, the pasar malam here in Singapore, right? Uh, apparently, there's John Cena as well. Aha! Uh -huh. And uh, this was the highlight, but unfortunately, <laughs> I can't show you guys too much of the highlights because I did not upload a whole lot of footage to my Insta stories. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, there is a okay. Let me show you the full thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is a Gundam base that's actually in, um, that's actually in Bangkok. 
I'm not sure if you guys know that. It is the only Gundam base that's outside of Japan, apparently, if I remember correctly. Um, now, I'm actually working on a video, alright, a, a short form video, okay, a, a TikTok, alright, about this place, like, which I will release probably tomorrow or something. And I think you guys can have a better idea of what I actually saw at the Gundam store, but I did not put up a whole lot of, like, you know, footage about this where I was browsing the store itself, like, because holy crap, there was a shit ton of things in there that I I, I saw, I was like, oh my god, it's so poisonous, so poisonous, yeah, gunducy, right, like, I'm like, like oh, I, gotta, I gotta stay my hand from those things. Did you hear that Taiwan is opening a Poké Center in December? No, I did not, I did not. Uh, I'm not as hyped about Pokemon as well, but that, that sounds good. Maybe I should make Taiwan a destination. Yeah, honestly speaking, right, going to BKK has made me, like, I, I, I can honestly say I got bitten by the travel bug again, right, after not being, having traveled out so often, you know, to, to you know, for, for a very long time already, right, I mean, being, and I don't consider, you know, going to JB as traveling out, by the way, guys, right, or going to, you know, Batam for that matter, those are like, what, you can literally can take a boat or a bus, like, to, to those areas, so this is the first trip, like, outside of, you know, the so-called, our region, um, so I, I have to honestly say, I, I, I think I was bit, I've been bitten by the travel bug, you know, after going for this trip, and yeah, I, I'm not opposed to going to Taiwan at the end of the year as well, but my main goal of going to Japan at the end of the year is to see this, this dude, but the moving version of this, not, not me, but like, you know, the RX-78, right, which apparently they're gonna close shop in March of next year, right, so my only chance to catch it, um, you know, before my next holiday, the, the following holiday after that, right, will be in December. So that's my only time to go down. Like, that is the only reason why I want to go there. To at least set my sights on the moving down them at least once, you know, at least once. Have I, I have been to Taiwan twice when I was younger. Uh, one when I was traveling with the army, when I was still in NS. And then a second time together with my parents for the year-end countdown, by the way, which they always hold at Taipei 101, right? Um... Uh, yes, Starlight. <laughs> uh, cannot say too much about it, but yes, it was an exercise, right? Um, but it was a, it was a, oh, it was a really, I think that, that, that army exercise that I, uh, went together with NS, uh, for, for, in, to Taiwan, right? I think the best, like, overseas, like, army trip. So I, I've gone on a few army trips myself. I went to Brunei twice. <laughs> I was with the army. Don't ever go Brunei, by the way. Um, but the Taiwan trip was, man. It's, up, it's right up there. Like, if you are in NS and you get a chance to travel to, like, either Germany, if you're if you are in armor, by the way, if you get to travel to Australia or Germany or Taiwan, right, go to these places. Even, I would say, Thailand as well, right? But Thailand, I, I, I have friends feedback to me, they go there and train, right? Oh, it's si me hot lah. Like, I, and, and when I was in BKK, right, it was really very hot as well. So I can imagine, like, training there, right? You know, how, how is that actually training there with all, you know, the, the lalang? They have a lot of lalangs in their field. Uh. Lalang is in like those really tall wheat grasses and stuff. And they actually trap heat. So if you are doing exercise in that field, right, you you can actually quite easily get a heat stroke. So maybe Thailand, not such a good idea. But if you get a chance to travel to like, you know, uh, Taiwan, Germany, uh, Australia for an exercise, yeah. Go for it, man. Go for broke. Um, but yeah. I will consider Taiwan. I know they're opening, like you mentioned, there's a Pokemon Center that's opening. Maybe it's worth a trip. But like I said, priority is go Japan. Um, but the next best thing you can do if you cannot go to Japan to get your Gundam exclusives, right? Um, which you can only find in Gundam Base. Um, this is the next pla best place you can go to to get your Gundam exclusives. And I'm talking, when I say Gundam exclusives, I'm talking about those things that are exclusive only to Gundam Base, right? Now, a lot of people will say that yeah, the exclusive stuff at Gundam Base you can kind of buy online as well. Uh, but it's really expensive, mind you, right? Um, hey, Primer, welcome in. It, you, you, you appeared just as I was talking about my experience at Gundam Base. Now, I, I was just saying that I don't have a whole lot of footage uh, for Gundam Base. Um, because, like I said, I was so bu busy browsing the store and taking images and pictures and videos of stuff inside. Uh, that I kind of forgot to post it up on my Insta story. So you guys gotta have to settle for this for now. Uh, but I will be putting up a TikTok very soon uh, about my experience at uh, Gundam Base Thailand. Like I said, 
the best place you can go to to find your your Gundam exclusives outside of Japan. You know, well, this you sure you got Gundam. Yeah, you, like I said, you came in just at the right time. <coughs> I probably should shout you out as well. Um, hey, Primer, yeah, you just started your new job as well. Congrats on that. Acknowledge um, me. Sending you some love. Uh, in case you guys don't know, Primer Ice Tea is a Gunpla builder as well. Go show him some love. Um, have you been building a model kits yourself? Gunpla build day. Oh yeah, you recently completed a, a Zeta Gundam, right? HG Zeta. Uh, was this your trip to the... Oh no, never mind. Uh, this, this was the con that you attended, right? Attended, right? I remember you, you told me you gave a talk there. So that that's pretty cool. But yeah, if you'd love to see more Gunpla building besides myself, uh, go give Primer Ice Tea a follow. I hope your new job is coming along well. Um, I just came back literally from like Bangkok, like on on uh, early Monday morning, like late Sunday night, early Monday morning. Yeah, so just like sh sharing some highlights from my trip, and one of it, of course, is the Gundam base. Uh, like I said, I'll be releasing a video on it very soon, so do keep a lookout for that on my TikTok. Again, I am Tovakin across all socials as well. Um, but yeah. Down there, right? Maybe one thing that you w may want to buy down there is the Gunpla, Gunpla exclusives, right? <clears throat> yeah, I had fun. I had fun. I absolutely had fun. Uh, <laughs> let, let, let me let me I'll, I'll let you guys hear how I actually presented this this clip. By the way, <laughs> and, and and that's and that's the. It was, it was just very well timed. Uh, I just wanted to put like a Witch from Mercury like soundtrack, and then I slapped it on. It's like, and I posted it. It's like, this was the end result. <laughs> and then it's like you know, uh, those uh, what what do they what do they use what do they call it on on Twitter? Um, those cut uh perfectly cut videos, right? <laughs> so it was epic, yeah. Um, uh, but I was saying right. Uh, if you wish to get your Gundam exclusives outside of Japan. This is the place to go to, right? This is the, uh, this is the, uh, the Gundam base that you should be in. Now, don't go there. I think I'll, I'll mention in my video, but don't go there to, um, the reg, get, don't go there and get the regular stuff. Like, don't go there and get your full mechanics aerial, your HG, um, like, strike Gundam, all, all the, all the regular stuff, right? Because the regular stuff down there, is expensive. Like it's priced way higher than the regular price. I I actually went to check. Uh, there are a lot of PG kits by the way, but nobody actually buys them there because it's way too expensive. However, some of the exclusive stuff was on discount. Like the Gundam base exclusive stuff was on discount. All right. Uh, so go there, look, and try to get the exclusive Gundam stuff. Right. Uh, when I say exclusive Gundam stuff, I'm talking about stuff that's only exclusive to Gundam base. All right. Because they are a lot cheaper there. And I think this will be yeah, <laughs> the pose, right? Uh, I mean, I couldn't think of anything else, right? I, I don't know how Suleta doesn't... I don't know how Suleta poses in Witch from Mercury. I don't think that's actually a pose. Uh, the only Witch from Mercury pose that I know is the, the, the one with the hand being slammed down by Ariel. <laughs> Tomato paste, right? No, so... Uh, that, that's the only one I know. So I just kind of did this and then the, the music, the music kind of synced, I guess. The, the music kind of synced, you know. <laughs> best Witch from... Yeah, Best Witch from Mercury soundtrack, hands down. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I think now, since you... Primer, Ice-T, and a bunch of you are here, right? Okay, this, this brings an end to, you know, pretty much the highlights that I wish to share for my BKK trip. Like I said, I'm not going to go to a whole ass TED talk about, you know, my BKK trip and stuff because I actually want to get down to playing some games on this stream, right? Uh, oh, wow. Right, I, I think I've hit the table a bit too hard. My mic actually, my mic stand actually just, just came out. Give me a sec, guys. Um, but yeah, I actually wish to play some games on stream. Give me a sec, guys. Oh my god. Ugh. What happened to you? My mic is too shook. It's too shook. He's shook. Alright. 
yeah, you guys can't really see this, but my mic just went limp. <laughs> like the mic stand went limp, lah. Not, not, not the mic. Uh, <laughs> that sounds kind of wrong. But anyway, yes. Um, yeah. So that brings an end to all my BKK highlights and trips that I wish to share with you guys. Uh, but I think this is a nice segue to show you guys what I actually bought from, um, the uh, from the Gundam base. All right. Uh, so, oh my goodness, why is this showing? <laughs> Man, it's showing my, my dad bot. Oh my goodness. Uh, wait. <laughs> what happened to the camera? It's been misbehaving while I was like talking to you guys. But anyway, yeah, that would solve it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I want to show you guys what I actually bought. So I did actually buy some uh, something from Gundam Base Thailand. Um, and it was a kit that was actually on discount, all right? So it was one of the kids that was on discount, uh, and I, I know I just had but I, I had to buy something from there that was on discount. Anyway, it was an exclusive, right? <clears throat> I'll just show you guys very quickly what is it? Where is it? Yeah. Um, I have to say, after looking at all the gunpla kits that was there, right? I'm I'm very proud to say that I only bought one kit out, out of the uh, entire, you know. After browsing the tons and the, the dozens and the thousands or the hundreds, I would say, of the kits down there. And uh, this is actually what I bought, guys. Okay, the... The light doesn't do it justice. Let me switch to... Something more neutral. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> okay. This was what we bought. So this is what I'm talking about, all right? We want to buy something that's exclusive to a Gundam base down there. And this is what I actually bought, okay? It's the Gundam base limited edition, okay? Red ashtray, okay? And it's not just any red ashtray, by the way. Uh, it is a red dragon, as they call it. So as you can tell, uh, it has a lot more swords, right, on this thing. It's an HG, HG kit, by the way. Uh, but apparently this is a kit from the... Is it a manga series? Okay, I, I, I don't know where this kit actually comes from. Uh, if this is actually a kit that was... Uh, or is this a Gundam that was actually uh, in the Astray series itself? Or it could literally just be ex something exclusive just to you know, Gundam base itself. Uh, super... Oh, really? Super limited. Now... If you go there though, there's a lot of these lying around by the way. <laughs> there's a lot of these lying around, right? So it's definitely worth going there just, just to get this. And there's more where this came from and a whole lot of others. Uh, there's the full armored like Unicorn Gundam with the, uh, what do you call it? The green crystals stuff that coming out from its body. Yeah, they have a ton of that there as well. Uh, both in MG and RG. Yeah. Th those are the two versions that are there. Yeah. As a Gundam Seed manga series, right, right? I, I, I don't know. It just looked really badass with the number of swords. Like, you you, you thought that. <laughs> BR back, go Thailand. Yeah, so as I was saying, right? Like, if you cannot afford to go Japan, right? The next best place you can go to is uh, Gundam Base Thailand, right? Uh, oh shit, this camera is moving again. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Well, uh, why this camera? Uh, stop, stop disobeying me. Stop disobeying me. Alright, I should probably turn off like the hand gesture stuff. But, yeah. Ah uh, yes, the Crystal Burst Unicorn, right? So the Crystal Burst Unicorn, apparently there's two versions of it. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, it's MG and uh, HG, uh, sorry, not HG, RG, right? There's a real great version of it and the Master Great version of it as well. Uh, so... Those two are there in excess, I would say. Alright, in excess. So it's, it's just lighting up the the entire like shelf. Uh, there was also the clear... Um, there was also an RX-78 that had clear parts and stuff like that. A Strike Gundam that had clear parts like that. But it's all exclusive to Gundam base. Oh, it's HG and MG. Okay, so it's not RG. La. Uh, I apologize. Okay, so it's HG and MG, not RG, MG. Alright. Uh, but yeah, this one, right, uh, apparently it's HG, right, so, okay, yeah, then that makes sense, like, that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's HG, uh, Crystal Burst, but, okay, the reason why I bought this one is because it was on a discount, right, uh, now, I went online to check that apparently you can get this online, for sure, 
Uh, but very quickly, let me look up how much it actually is on the internet. Uh, what? Wait, let me find. Uh, put this one side. It's a bit hard to type. Um, Ashtray. Ashtray. Red Dragon. I remember it was like $96 or something like that. Um, okay, let, let's look at P Bandai, right? Uh, this is the... Uh... Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, this is different. This is, this is the... Uh... The... Uh... Crystal version. The clear version. I think that's the one. Ah, okay. So it's $96. $96, guys. This is $96, right? You guys want to guess how much I got this for? You guys want to guess? Take a guess, take a guess. Right. Uh, no prizes, uh, unfortunately, but take a guess. 50? Uh, okay. Uh, close enough, close enough. Was it 50? Okay. Yeah, let me calculate. Uh. Let me calculate. Uh, let me see. Uh. I also forgot how much yeah. <laughs> I just remember the price in Thai baht. Okay, higher, higher, higher. Higher than 50. But you guys are close. <laughs> you guys are close. Uh, it's, not, it's not 50. It's higher. 62, lower, lower, lower. <laughs> okay. I give you guys the answer, lah. Okay, it's uh, it's a thousand five hundred and thirty baht. It's sixty nine. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, yeah, David, you're actually pretty close. It's actually fifty nine. Uh, fifty eight eighty, lah. If you want to be exact, all right, fifty eight eighty. So this is almost slashed by forty dollars, guys. All right, and I, I, I can show you guys proof that this was hundred fifty. Okay, so. Thai baht, right? Basically, you look at the price, right? You divide by 26, and that's how you translate it to um, SGD, right? That's how it works. Yeah. Okay. So I, I show you proof, huh? Okay, it's 100. Okay, not 100. 1530 baht. Right? This is how much you I got it for over at Gundam Base down there, guys. So you take that, you divide by 26, all right? Um, it gives you like five, about $59. This is not HG Ashtray, wait, that's MG, oh, that's the, oh, you're right, shit, that's the MG version, wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, shit, that means, wait, did I buy something that's way more expensive, oh, shit, <laughs> okay, but anyway, 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 it's about the same, like, I remember, uh, where is it, where is it? Haha, <laughs> time to check. <laughs> it could have been cheaper. It could be cheaper in Singapore. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Why did the music stop? Crap. Eh, why the music stop? Uh? Hello? Okay, it, 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 didn't, it didn't like my comment. <laughs> okay, there we go. Time to check. Where is the... Is there any P Bandai stuff? Wait, wait, wait. Let me find. Samurai models. Okay, well. That looks like I've been had. <laughs> well, not say had. I didn't check properly. Um, in Japan, apparently it's going for 50, so it's about right. I'm gonna vibe check your Gunpla knowledge. Okay, I know, David. I know you're, you're all knowing about Gunpla and stuff, right? Okay, so in Singapore, apparently it's going for 85... $85 on Shopee lah, on Shopee. I can't seem to find the, the, the P, the P Bandai exclusive one. Like, there doesn't seem to be like, like, any links to that. Okay, but in Singapore, it's like 85 which is kind of pricey and people actually buy it. But if you go to Japan, uh, okay, it's 33 USD. What is 33 USD to Sing Dollar? 33 USD to... Oh! Okay, 
So it's actually still cheaper to get it off like from from uh from Japan. Okay, but if you can't afford to go to Japan, this is your next best bet. The kit is Gundam based limited, not P Bandai. Eh but then the MG1 they got put on P Bandai leh. Okay, but then again, okay, this is a P Bandai exclusive lah. Alright. Okay, which means you can't actually get it off P Bandai. Alright, so that so that makes sense. Uh which probably means could could explain why it's actually so so expensive. Yeah. Okay, thanks for vibe checking me, David. Alright, I understand, right? You are the all-knowing guy, okay, with gunpla knowledge and stuff. I appreciate that. Uh thanks for correcting me. <laughs> Alright, but yes, uh I think still like if you if you can't go to Japan, right? Yeah, your next best bet. I mean it's a little bit more pricey, okay. But your next best bet is, is this one now. Can send one to Malaysia? <laughs> no no, okay, like I said, if you cannot like um if you cannot go to Japan, right? Like I said, just just fly to Bangkok, right? Like going to Bangkok is really cheap. I believe you can even take a train up, right, from Malaysia to to, to go to, to uh to Thailand. So that that I think that's your next best bet, right? To to go somewhere nearby. Um and get it because honestly, I think with the extra eight dollars, right, that you may lose, right, on the, on the way to you know, um, you know, for paying, uh, for paying, uh, from from getting it in Japan, right, um, the next best thing is uh going to to Thailand, uh, okay, and Gundam base, right, but okay, I tell you uh this exclusive, right, um, like I said, not all the exclusive there are on discount, okay, only some, only some of them are on discount, right, so. Um, don't get the regular stuff there. The regular stuff there is super duper overpriced. Like, don't. Right? Yeah. Uh, please build me the crystal burst. <laughs> I have to go back to... Um, Gundam Base Thailand <laughs> to, to get one. I have plans for Kit Bash so I don't need a unicorn at the moment. Oh! Yeah, you're making a diorama or something? Thanks for the hell hydrate, by the way. But yeah, yeah. I, I think for this price, like... 1530 baht it's it's pretty good um can it could it be lower definitely like just now i i, I showed you guys if you go to like um uh, like okay it's 85 dollars here in singapore uh if you go to gundam base in japan itself samurai models apparently uh it's like what 50 like 33 usd is about like 50 sing right so i think give or take lah right uh, you must include ex import export tax, you know. So, I I, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I bought. All right. Okay. Now 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 I I, I don't feel like I, I feel less good about it. But anyway, whether or not it was a mistake and whatnot. But look at this. Like holy shit. Like eighty five dollars just to get this. Like it's not even from like some like you know. It's not even from like some proper like store that sells gunpla. What is eye photography anyway? Uh but $85. It's not even f like yeah. Yeah, direct import lah. But yeah. <laughs> $85 guys. There we go. Here in Singapore. <laughs> now just import part switch between two RGs from double O. Uh I'm gonna make an RG XR. Oh you mean the uh the Terminator Gundam, as I like to call it. <laughs> he li it literally looks like a Terminator. The, the double O uh, repair, which is AKA, AKA the Terminator Gundam. I challenge you to buy an EG Gundam and build without a manual. What's an EG Gundam? Entry grade, is it? I thought they call it first grade now. I may have. Yeah, entry grade, right? It's first. I thought it's called first grade. So they have first grade and they have entry grade, right? I think entry grade is like the new... Actually, they should just rename easy grade, right? It's literally just a bunch of like immovable parts. I think I can... First grade is entry grade, it's gong gong. Oh, right, right, okay. Oh, so it's the precursor to entry grade lah. I think I can do it because I believe I made a... I built a first grade. Uh, I built a first grade before, believe it or not. I actually have built a first grade before. Um... Yeah, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Uh, my first, I, I built a first grade. Um, what was it? Justice Gundam. So I used to have a first grade Justice Gundam. If it was that FG, I think it was an FG Justice Gundam, right? F, was it FG FG Justice 
Let me. FG Justice. Was there a, was there a first grade Justice Gundam? I remember I built like like some Justice Gundam. Okay, it's not an FG Justice Gundam, but this was the one I think. Uh, which I thought when I when I, when I built it. Okay, it's not first grade lah. Is it entry grade? It's not. Like, it doesn't even have a grade, right? This thing. Right. Um, what? Oh, yo, SWAT! Looking forward to the first picture. <laughs> yo. Hey, thank you for the resub, Mr. SWAT. Welcome in. Thanks for the resub. I appreciate it. Uh, PG Gundam not anytime soon. Uh. That that thing's gonna set me back by a few hundred dollars, and I just paid my taxes. Uh, so welcome in, SWAT. How are you, man? Yeah, we're just talking about Gunpla because I just came back from uh, BKK. Uh, I went to Gundam Base. Um, I went to the Gundam Base there in BKK. So, uh, yeah, just showcasing some of the stuff that I bought uh, when I was there. Oh, wait, 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 guys. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, Stop me. I did do stories inside the... Uh, Inside the store. Okay, so I can show you, give you guys a tour of the store a little, right? Uh, this will be a preview of the video that I plan to release. Yeah. Okay, I'll go find one. I will try sponsor one. Dude, no, no, please don't. You don't have to do it. Like, if if you sponsor, right, dude. Like, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, don't, don't trouble yourself. Okay. All right. Um, I I mean I appreciate the love lah, but yeah, it only if it's convenient and only if you're willing to. Okay. Yeah. Like. Save your monies, man. <laughs> I I just appreciate the sub very, very much. Thank you so much, uh, SWATSG, and welcome back in. Uh, yeah, I should shout out SWATSG as well. Dalong is a good site to go Gunpla research before buying. Ah, yes, the legendary Dalong that I've heard so much. Actually, I've not used it before, but thanks for the hits up. SWATSG. Uh, after you do 1PG, you will love it. It's really different. Oh my god. You got I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Oh it's just that it's god. gonna be a, okay, there's gonna be a lot of parts, um, right? Got hair. Swat's favorite. Hair. Uh, Swat's G is a uh, variety streamer as well. Uh, as you can see here, he's doing art. It's really fantastic. Art. What, what, what are you drawing here? Man, stand. Take my time. X streamer. <laughs> are you not planning to come back to, to stream anytime soon, behind. by the way? <laughs> mm, that's, that's, mm, <laughs> that's some interesting art you got there. Yeah. Not now, not for now. Right, right, right. Well, okay, yeah. Like I said, don't, 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 don't pressure yourself to buy me a PG kit. But <laughs> I mean, I would love to build a PG kit for sure. But yeah, like only within your means, right? But yeah, guys, go, 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 give him a follow. Yeah. Even, even like maybe one day he plans to come back to the stream. I don't know. But yeah, Dalong. I'll, I'll, I'll check out Dalong. Wait, Dalong. Okay, so wait before before I move on to 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 this, right? Um, uh, yeah, this was the, uh, I don't know if this is, like, entry grade stuff. This was the Justice Gundam that I built, like, long, 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 long time ago. Yeah, uh, so, this one has no grade. I don't know if it's, like, entry grade or what, but apparently this was something equivalent to a first grade. Um, because the articulation isn't very great, and this is actually how it looks like, uh, when you finally build it, right? Uh, with a, with no decals and stuff out of the box, looks pretty neat. Uh, but this this is the actual packaging. Um, yeah, this could have been the precursor to uh, first grade. So I don't know. But yeah, I was trying to try out a cheap drawing pad. I realized you can't draw. <laughs> okay, guys, any anybody can draw, right? Anybody can draw. It's just how well or not so well. If you can write, you can draw. That's what my, my drawing lecturer always says. You just need practice, all right? You can try and find R, R, RG. Uh, and, and okay, I know there's an RG like justice, right? An RG like freedom as well. Um, it's actually nicer the real great Gundam. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just saying because like, um, I think David was asking me whether or not I can build a entry great entry Gundam. Without looking at the instructions. So that he set out a challenge for me. La. Like a no instruction like build. Which I am willing to try, you know. Maybe I should do that as my next challenge. Huh? Um, yeah, maybe I should do that as my next challenge, right? 
like channel points challenge. Like if you hit the channel points challenge, I'll buy an entry grade kit and I'll try building it out of the box with no instruction. PG no no, that is dude, that is dude, that is impossible. <laughs> yeah, like I built MG already got problem, you know. You want me to do PG without instruction? Like MG I, I built without instruction I also uh, will, will kill side. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. F okay, I'll, I'll I I will take you out with the challenge. I'll, I'll put up a channel points challenge soon, right? For an FG build, no instructions, like a blind build, uh, as they would say, right? And I think that's the word blind build, right? Eg eg uh, Gundam, and eg also is quite inexpensive, right? So you know, I'll just buy something off the shelf and then build it from there. Maybe a Zaku even. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, there's no EG for Zaku. I don't know. I don't know what entry grade kits are around. Um, I'll have a look at Dalong. Dalong seat. Oh, oh wait, you were directing me to this um, earlier on, right? Uh, David, this, this, uh... Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. So this is the justice that I built. Uh, I it doesn't even have a grade, so it's great gradeless, I guess. But it's uh. It's by Bandai, that's for sure. Uh, but it looks, it definitely looks like, um, it definitely looks like a, uh, like an EG, right? <laughs> Entry grade. I told you, country, uh, SWAT is still trying to figure out what to do. No grade. Okay, so, yeah. So, no grade is like, it's like even, it's even lower than Entry grade, right? If it's no grade. <laughs> okay, but I remember building this. It was one of my first builds when I was, uh, when I started building Gunpla during uh, my poly time. And then I started with this. Right, I just bought it for fun. And I thought, oh, okay, like, you know, since since you know, I I love the the seed series and stuff. So I thought I'd just get one and try it out. And yeah, um, I remember this kit when I first built it. Right, I literally used like scissors to nip off you know the runners and stuff, which was a totally like amateurish thing to do. Like, don't ever do that. Right, definitely get like proper like you know cutters and stuff for the runners. My goodness, looking. Looking back at that, right, I actually used like, you know, scissors to cut the, the, the nubs, you know. Yeah, it was it was crazy, man. I mean, it's possible to do it, uh, but then the cut won't be as clean. Uh, so you, sh you should have seen it. There was a lot of like, you know, parts, like stuff still sticking out and stuff like that. Which was crazy. But yeah, that, that's the, uh, that was, uh, this was one, actually one of my first builds. And this is actually what it looks like outside of the, uh, uh, outside of the box. Um, the, the, okay, so the mode of articulation is really shit, right? Um, you can't even bend the knees, right? Uh, which is kind of consistent with entry grade stuff, right? Uh, you can only move, like, the arms, like, in robot fashion, like that. You know, you can't even bend the elbows, uh, you can't even articulate the knees and stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I think you can get it to sit on the, uh, on the hoverboard, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I, I think I, I think you can get it to stand on the hoverboard, but you probably just fall over, kind of like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that that's about it, man. Um, now, of course, if you you have to do a lot of painting and a lot of like you know, uh, line art and stuff like that, um, line art, like uh, panel lining, right? Uh, down here, if in order to make it look nice. So out of the box, yeah, it, it just looks like this. If you don't put decals and stuff as well. Uh, which I did, which I did, right? But yeah, <laughs> this just this was my first like model kit. One of my first model kits actually. Uh, the other model kit that I started off with was where I progressed from this was the uh, was the HG Freedom Gundam, if I remember correctly. Yeah, HG Freedom looks bland as water. It, it sure was. It sure was. Like I said, I, I ain't gonna deny the fact that it's uh. It's a very bland build. Yeah, but it was it was damn straightforward lah, to make. Yeah. Just put it's like building Lego kinda like that. But yeah, anyway, um yeah, for those of you who just came in, like I said, this is what I bought from, you know, uh my BKK trip, uh like SWAT since you just came in, uh for your benefit. Yeah, alright. Uh so please go to Gundam Base Thailand. Like I said, if you can't travel to Japan, right? Like this next best place to that you can go to to get your Gundam exclusives is BKK, uh, is uh, Gundam Base uh, Thailand, right? 
Uh, fifty eight dollars. Uh, apparently, if you buy it in Singapore, as just now we saw, it's eighty five, which is I think it's crazy expensive just for exclusive, right? So fifty eight sing down there, which is about like I mentioned, a uh, thousand five hundred. Uh, let me angle this. <laughs> thousand five hundred and thirty baht Thai baht, right? This is nice loving it already. Yeah, I'm just not sure when I'm gonna build it. Uh, I may only start building it next year. This was a kit that was made in uh. Let me see here. 2022. So it just came out last year only. This is actually insane. Right. Um, apparently, just now, uh, as Primer... Uh, sorry, not Primer. Uh, as David mentioned, um, there's also an MG version of this. Um, but this is a Gundam base exclusive, like the smaller version and apparently the easier version to build. So yeah, go get it. Still jealous that you got a kit. Dude. Fly to Thailand, like, I think from Malaysia, it actually is cheaper to travel down, down to Thailand. Just go there and, like, you know, get the, uh, get the kids from there, eh? Uh, sorry, but I might have to vibe check you on that fact. Like, this, why, the fact that this is, uh, this is cheaper down there. Okay, but, like I said, like, it's, like, I show you guys, you can actually buy this kit online. It's just that it's really expensive <laughs> to do it, right? Uh, so it's better like if you're traveling down to Thailand, you might as well just get it. Like it's, it's way cheaper down there. But yeah, I am going to build this. I don't know, like I said, I don't know when. All right, but um, one of these days, one of these days, right? I I have a lot of backlog, guys. Like yeah, this has to be you know somewhere down the line. Like I have stuff from like ten years ago that I'm not built yet. Like I, I kid you not, guys. It's ten years, ten years ago. Uh, my Epion for that matter is 10 from 10 years ago, so you can't imagine the kind of backlog that I have. Uh, the ashtray itself is from the ancient days of Seed HG. Oh, yes, yes. Um, only the swords, VFIN, and a few backpack parts are new. Oh, wait, so the. Wait, this. You mean the. Okay, I mean. So what, what you're, you're trying to say is that this. The mold that they use for this, or the parts that they use for this kit, is from the old ashtray, the red ashtray parts. And they just rehashed it with a few new parts, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> okay, I mean, you gotta be cost efficient, right? That's how they sell you toys, by the way. They just they just use the mold from the old parts, reverse, like, reverse engineer the damn thing, and then just throw in a few new ones. But then again, I don't mind. Okay, it's 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 just slightly more expensive than my uh, SG fifty uh, RX seventy eight, right? The uh, so I, I got my SG fifty like you know uh, RX seventy eight as you can see is like standing somewhere here like at fifty dollars, slightly more expensive. So I, I don't mind. Welcome to the money sucking side of Gundam Base. <laughs> it's called a Gundam Base Limited Exclusive for a reason. Uh, that's, that, that's all I'll say. But of course, definitely still cheaper if let's say you go to you know, Japan Gundam base to buy it. Lah. Because I think you factor in import tax and stuff. Um, you know, it's... it's uh, it, it, It'll definitely be more expensive. I still don't have a P-Bandai. Dude, I don't have a P-Bandai kit either, I think. Do I, do I, do I not have a Yeah, I don't know. I, I may not have a P-Bot like it. <laughs> you know, I was planning to get the Epion one, but the Epion one is like sold out now. <laughs> anyway, I have like an MG Epion like stashed away still. Uh, so I I, <laughs> I was I was asking you guys, like, should I sell away like my MG Epion and get like the P-Bandai uh, Sturm drug, whatever version of the Epion and I, I just decided against it, you know. Uh, still a good decision for looking for getting re for getting the great ashtray you got great. I mean I mean it was the it was one of the cheaper <laughs> kids down there, so I was like, yeah, I'm 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 getting it. I have to, I have to buy something since I was there already. Uh save from the man with a Gundam base kit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean that would, well then that would make this, you know. But this is not exactly P Bandai, right? You know. Anyway. When I travel to Japan, hopefully at the end of the year, you, you can bet I'll be buying more. I'm gonna bring like a whole suitcase back probably, <laughs> if if my if my wife allows it. Don't tell her. Anyway, <laughs> uh, good talk, good talk, good talk, guys, good talk. <laughs> uh, all right. 
selling old MG plus extra money to buy the new MG Epion, how much will, will the, like, the old MG Epion actually cost, right? Because the P Bandai version of it is like $71. Let's, maybe let's have a look. Like MG, okay. I think my search results will be full of the, you know, um, the new MG Epion like stuff. Yeah. MG Epion. Let's see how much it's going for. Uh, is this the? I'm not sure if my version is the endless. One. Okay, let's look at the Amazon one. Yeah. Okay. I think this might be the version I have. Ninety eight dollars. Ooh. <laughs> but if I sell it at ninety eight dollars, nobody's probably gonna buy it, right? Let's let's look at. Uh, Gundam Base Limited. Okay, this is the Gundam Base Limited one. Obviously, it's gonna be more expensive. Wait, there's a Gundam Base Limited. Holy shit. Wait. What? Click to enlarge? Bro, what the shit? This actually looks cool. It's an MG kit mobile. Hold up, hold up. What? Hey, this looks sick, man. Oh my god. It's shiny, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh my god. How did I not know about this? Man, if I knew this existed, maybe it, it came out way after I bought my MG Epion. But man, this looks sick. Oh my god. This is a, uh, a Gundam base limited with new special coating. When did this come out? When did, when did this come out? I don't even know. Man, oh man. 120, man. Okay, I think it's, it's definitely 100. Looks cool, but the nut marks are there. Yeah, I know. I know those special coating one, right? Always got the... Uh, you must be damn careful uh, with, with snipping it off. Uh. I think even if you are careful with snipping it off, uh, but wow, the, the nut marks is, 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 a, is a chore. Unless you are going to like, you know, uh, gun them marker over the damn thing. Um... But yeah, MG Epia. Wait, how much is the OG? The OG one. I'm just trying to. Okay, see. So this one is the new one, with the uh, what they call it, the the Sturm und Drang. It's like some German name, Sturm und Drang, like thing on the arms. I I can't, I can't believe they actually rehashed the Epion so many times. Like they had the MG Epion, they had Endless Watts. Now they had Gundam Base, and then they have this 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 new thing. The Sturm, the Sturm Drang one, yeah. Okay, so I, I, I know that my uh, I have been advised by my friends also who are in the Gunpla building community to not buy any special coating Gundams as well because those are gonna leave very nasty like nut marks. Yeah. Um, that was the same thing I was told. Okay, so so this is the version that I actually have. Um. Yeah, so this is the version that I actually have at the moment, right? I don't know how much it's going to be sold for. Maybe if I sell it for like 60 or 50, it might, it might fetch me something. Um, and then I could probably like use that money to go and buy more kits. But um, yeah, this is the version that I actually have with me at the moment. Can I enlarge this? But yeah, there we go. Uh, Armored Core is the new... <laughs> This is why I want to play Armored Core. Everybody is doing all the insane like Gundam builds inside Armored Core, right? And I'm here, I'm I'm, I'm a guy that loves Gundam, right? I'm, I'm sitting here without a copy of like Armored Core and shit. Anyway, we'll get down to Armored Core once we are done like playing like Zelda and stuff. The Ashtray Crossbow Unicorn sitting in the dark corner of the room first time. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh my god. Crossbone Gundam, by the way. Really good build. Uh, sell it and buy an RG app. What? No! Hell no, I'm not downsizing. Hell no, I'm not downsizing. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is the version that I'm getting. Oh, not to mention, I still have a freaking tall geese from uh, Dragon Momoko, right? I know, Chong Kit, right? Yeah. Um, I've, I've showed it to you guys previously on stream as well. So, yeah, I may, uh, I may build uh, that one next. By the way, uh, speaking of which, I am running a um giveaway on my discord right now um exclamation point discord uh a sub giveaway uh if you guys can guess like the um 
the kit that I'm building this weekend. Uh, it's gonna be a new kit because we finished, you know, uh, the Wild Liger the last time already. Um, if you choose correctly, or if you vote correctly which kit that I'm building next, alright, uh, you stand to win like a free gift sub, alright? Just something very simple that I'm doing for, you know, a giveaway this weekend. So, uh, again, do pop into my Discord if you haven't already uh, to check out that giveaway. Like, it's just a very simple giveaway. Uh, I can gift you a sub either on like Twitch or on um, my kick, which is where I preferably would do, rather do the giveaway on. But anyway, yes, guys. All right, um, new kit this weekend, and hopefully I get a chance to travel down to Japan end of the end of the end of the year and you know buy more exclusive kits and stuff so yeah i mean uh, that's that's my trip to bkk i hope you guys enjoyed the uh like the sharings that i've had <laughs> uh, but yeah guys like it's really cheap like if you have a chance go travel down to bkk like even if it's just for one weekend just just like if you have a long weekend and stuff to spend uh, go down there three days, just explore the night markets, go to Gundam base, have a look at the stuff there and see which one you want to buy. Like I said, um, like Prime IST, like for Malaysia to travel down there, it's really like, you know, if you have a long weekend in Malaysia, you know, and a uh, holiday, you know, extended holiday, just, just, just go down there and go to Gundam base. You won't regret it. You won't, re you won't regret it. 100%. Yeah. Saving money for it now. They, yeah, definitely. Sounds like a plan. Do it, do it, do it. 100%. I mean, you just started a job, right? <laughs> you know, you, you, there, there's nothing better, right, than earning your keep and then being able to use that money and spend it on something that you like. There's no better feeling than that. I guarantee you that. Yeah. I mean, that, that, what, what is money for, right? You know? <laughs> Uh, okay, um, that's it, right, uh, guys, I think we can end stream now, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna segue, I know it's very hard to segue right into something that's very not related to, to Gundam, <laughs> uh, thanks for the hail hydrate again, by the way, gosh, Pedro Pascal really loves his ASMR, right, <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna segue right into Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I've not touched in a week. And uh, we are very close to the end, so hopefully we will be able to... I plan to complete Zelda Breath of the Wild by end of this month. I know there's still a lot of things to explore in the game, which I'll definitely have time to, to explore, you know. Uh, I'm currently on my holiday break. Uh, I have a lot of spare time at the moment. Uh, so I'll definitely be putting in a lot of work as well in the daytime, just to clear Zelda. So... Um, but, like I said, I've not touched Zelda in so damn long. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to pull off the same things that I used to pull off in while playing, like, uh, playing it, like, a week back, but we'll see. Anyway, Zelda, it's time for some Zelda Breath of the Wild time. Uh, we will be building a new kit this weekend, so if you guys wish to watch me build, um, uh, more Gundam, um... Yeah, you have to pop by again this Saturday. Okay, that's where I'll be streaming. Okay, this Saturday, a new kit. Again, running a giveaway on Discord. Guess the right, correct one. You must be the first to to get the right one. I vote all. <laughs> okay, so that is the... Okay, no, it's fine to vote all, okay? That is kind of like the cheat code, actually. I, was, I, was, I wasn't willing to... I wasn't ready to re review this, but... Um, you can, that's, that's how you can win, okay? Basically, it's just for, you know, it's, I want to see how many people are actually paying attention to the announcements I make, right? So, when I do these giveaways, it's really first come, first serve. So, you literally can just react, press all the, the reacts and be the first to react to all and then you might get get it first. But I think someone has already reacted. Uh, yeah, someone has already probably reacted correctly, but um, hopefully he's on hand to, you know, receive the... Um, the giveaway, uh, the sub, right? Um, hopefully he'll be on hand to, to have the, uh, the, yeah, to receive the, the sub. You really telling us the rule there, there is no, I mean, technically, no, there are rules. You have to be the first. That's the rule. <laughs> That's the only rule, right, guys? Right. Talk about fair play, you know, that my, my, my discord, my rules, you know, as they, as they say. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're gonna segue right to... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna segue right into Breath of the Wild, right? Let me just 
set up the the tags and stuff. First playthrough and shit. Uh, okay, and then I have to change my category as well on kick to the Legend of Zelda. Zelda. Legend of Zelda Breath. That's. This is a really long name to type out, you know. The whole Legend Breath of the Wild stuff. Uh, Brazilian gotta sleep now. Work. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, please. Like, if you have to go for your work and stuff, uh, go go and sleep. Yeah, please do. Um, thanks for hopping in the stream, by the way, Prima ISD. Back to my cave. There's a rock as I watch anime and try to save money. For... <laughs> all right, all right. I I know most of you will head on off right now. Um. For sure, right? Non gunpla related content already. I, I know the segue way is like very it's a very hard pivot, right? To something that's not related to gunpla. So um yeah, feel free to stay. It'll be great if you guys could lurk. I appreciate it. But if you have to head on off for work and stuff, um to do your hobbies and other things, yeah, uh do go ahead. I appreciate it. Again, shout out to uh Prima IST, uh Home to Catch. Again, I have not had a chance to catch your streams, man. I really apologize for it. But I will try to swing by as much as I possibly can. Uh, Yoru, welcome in. Just in time. Uh, we, we are about to start our... <laughs> we are about to start our Breath of the Wild run again. Hopefully we can... I don't think we'll be able to clear our boss by tonight. It's, it's already really late. No clip! <laughs> okay, okay. I won't shout you out. I'll, I'll give you the... The Twitch shout out in just a bit. Because I just shouted out Primal Ice T. Yeah. Is it prime time? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. No, but Prime ISD is about it. <laughs> okay, but anyway, yeah. We gotta continue with a Barefu of the Wild. Prime time, baby. I am Gundam. Sir, you really gotta stop watching those Japanese cartoons. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we, we still got the AI TTS stuff, guys. Yeah, go ham with that. <laughs> Sir, you really need to stop watching those Japanese cartoons. Why not? Yeah, you absolutely can with uh, with the AI TTS for sure. <laughs> All right, where were we the last time round? We were uh, in uh, Breath of the Wild. Let's see. Shar Gemon. Wait. Oh shit! I know this place. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is this is bad. Oh no. Okay, I know. I know how I end up in this place. I was doing a shrine, and there's a reason why I'm near this shrine, by the way, guys. Uh, you will see in just a bit. Oh man, we are not starting off at a good place. Uh, apparently, this shrine, uh, I was there at this shrine because I, was, uh, I wanted to confront this Lionel that was there. <laughs> oh my god, this is not good. Okay. So if I remember correctly, yeah, we are, we are gonna dive in right into the deep end. By the way, guys. Uh, also, I have a new I have a new set of armor that apparently is gonna be very useful uh, against the against the cold. But I believe there is a Lionel here, which I have to fight in order to get out of this area. Uh, where is the Lionel, by the way? I remember the Lionel was like somewhere here. Has the Lionel disappeared? Shit man. Okay, I remember there was a there was an ice Lionel here and I died to him like a couple of Did I die to him? No, I think I saved the game before I actually died to him those few times. Uh but yeah, okay. Yeah, I got I got some ice arrows myself now. So apparently, uh, if you want to, um, Can I if build you a want snowman? to fight a Lino, you certainly not. <laughs> you certainly what the hell? <laughs> you certainly not. Okay. <laughs> Okay, apparently, like, the, the fastest way to beat a Lionel is to use an Ancient Arrow and send it to Twilight Zone. Uh, that's why I found out recently, 
Uh, not sure if I'm actually gonna, gonna want to use that though. What is this? Oh, this yep. is a rhino. Huh? I don't know how to kill this, like, rhino thing. But, um... Nice test. You send an arrow to the twilight, yes. No, I send, I use an ancient arrow to send a lionel to the twilight zone. Apparently that works. Oh shit. Hello. Where did you come from? Sir? Oh, ouch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, we, we're back to blowing our own shit up now. Right, there we go. Right. Okay, like I said, um, apparently there's a Lionel somewhere here. Uh, we can't find the Lionel to fight. The Lionel might have gone off already. I don't know. Uh, but... A... Let's hunt some game. Since we are here. Okay, I was in the midst of exploring this entire unknown region. Uh, you send an arrow to the twilight, then you send a lion to the twilight. Nice, you should basically send a lion. A lino, lino, okay? L Y N E L, that's what it's called. So you basically send a lion. I'll, I'll send a, a lino to heaven. That's, that's, what, that's what I'll do. Um, but yeah, I got some like fire arrows and shit now, so it's gonna be easier for me to get through these. People, knights. Wait, can I take up more weapons here? Okay, I, I know I have a lot of ancient weapons, guys. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh shoot! Okay, that was unintentional. I actually killed a frog. Yeah. Oh shit. Um. All right, guys. Um. Well. There we have a line also. I'm supposed to fight that thing. By the way, how's my trip? Oh, I was talking about it earlier on. <laughs> um, in the day. Uh, earlier on in the stream. So, it was good. Uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, as you guys saw just now, there were a lot of highlights that I, uh, that I shared about the trip. Can I actually kill this thing with a... I don't mind, it's running. Alright. Uh, so apparently, like... I learned that there's an easier way to fight the Lionel as well over my time there uh, while I was just chilling and stuff in, in, in Bangkok. Right. Um, there's no easy way to fight a Lionel other than to to dip and dodge. Okay, uh, let me learn how to do the uh, the dodge mechanics first. <laughs> right. Like, how to jump back and... Right, so yeah, there, as you can see, the, the Lionel there, uh, he ain't gonna be happy. Uh, it was a good trip, by the way, in case you are wondering. Good sir? Alright, face me! Yeah, he will, he will start charging once, <laughs> yeah, once I aim the arrow at him. Okay, yeah. There we go. Easy does it. Um... Yeah, so that, that, that's not gonna... Uh, can I not, like, jump back? Okay, never mind! Uh, <laughs> that was not, no, that was a, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Uh, <laughs> where is the food? Okay. There we go! Uh, so you're supposed to use Fury Rush as much as you possibly can against a Lionel. There we go. Okay, not that way. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it's not easy to fight this thing. Oh my god, wait. Uh, what I need to do, I may need... Armor up this shit. <laughs> Alright, field dodge, yep. Yeah, okay, another field dodge, fantastic. Ah, uh, I need to I need to learn. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, that's how you kind of do it. Uh, there we go. Alright, so yeah, just try to be easy. Okay, great. Royal broadsword is. <laughs> alright. Uh, alright, cool. Um, yeah, the lady helped us. Hey, dude, I did not squat, bro. Yeah, this is getting out of hand. Alright. Uh, at least if I die, it was nice. It was nice knowing you. Oh shit! Son of a gun. Okay, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So there's o there's only one way to dodge this, and that is to just run. Okay, never mind! I'm a bit rusty, guys, you must understand. There we go. Yeah, my shield's gonna break any time now. Come on! Here we rush him, damn it! Okay, that, that's... Oh, by the way, I've upgraded my stamina in case you guys are wondering. Uh... <laughs> oh, do I have to resort to this? Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Take aim. And... Okay, never mind. Shield broke. Fan freaking tastic. Oh, I swear, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, never mind. You know what? I'm, just, I'm gonna load this thing back up. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Link taste test system. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna load this up again. All right. That was a bad run. That was a bad run. <laughs> okay, so you guys kind of know how I've been fighting the Lionels all this time, right? I actually only fought one Lionel off stream previously. Um, uh, as you can tell, I'm I'm like still trying to get used to the whole dodge mechanic system. But I think we're pretty much there. It took a while, yeah. I'll I'll definitely need a lot of. Uh, I'll definitely need some help. Dealing with this Lionel for sure, uh, which is why I should eat some. Okay, you know what? We will use the food a bit later. I mean, I should try using ancient weapons against it. Yeah, very ancient weapons would work best against the Lionel. Okay, but I gotta. We gotta test the dodge mechanic. I keep pressing. Um, I keep pressing crouch. Uh, whenever I'm about to do the dodge thing, so. Probably that does not bode very well with this view. Okay. Face me, coward! And, uh, got you in my sights. Maybe you. Hello, stop moving for a bit. There we go. <laughs> got your attention now, huh, bitch? The dude is so unprovoked. He's now provoked. There we go. Oh. There we go. Fury rush time. Oh. Come. Okay, hold on. Uh. I need to. Yeah. Level up my armor set. Oh shit. That did not work. There we go. Uh, that broadsword is definitely not gonna hold up. Yeah, shit. Uh, shit, man. I need, I need freaking ancient weapons and stuff. Yo. 
Oh, son of a gun. I actually dodged that, holy shit. Okay. Uh, I need a fairy rush! Give me a fairy rush, baby! Dude, fairy rush me, come on. No, oh, damn. There we go. Fairy Rush, baby! Whoa. Whoa. That did not work out. Woo! Now you, now you know how hard it is to fight this dude! There we go. Yeah, the white one. Yeah, I'm fighting the white one. Which is a problem. Uh, basically, I'll just need to have to keep Fury rushing him down to no end. That, that's, that's the only way we're gonna be able to be a speed. And my god, it's always badly damaged. Oh my god, we are running out of ancient weapons to fight this dude with. Uh, I'll have to resort to my Master Sword! Oh, shit. Okay, my, my shield at this rate is gonna break for sure. Oh! Go! Oh, perfect timing. Okay, <laughs> that, that was a that was a cheat code. Uh, <laughs> okay, so basically when he does that, I need to uh, I need to siam. There we go. There's red, blue, white, and silver. Master mode has gold. Oh my god. I don't even want to know. Oh shit. Oh. Alright. Uh, this is gonna take a while, guys. I hope this shield does not break. There we go. And my Master Sword might be actually running out of energy soon, right? If I don't. My shield broke. Uh, <laughs> oh man, this is okay. Well, freaking last resort. Ah. Okay, never mind. I only have an inch of shield left. What? Come on, don't do this to me, game. Come on, give me a. Give me a fury rush or something. There we go. Yeah, boy. Freak. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. You hard. Uh, okay. Oh, Have to, uh, all right. uh, Never yes. mind. I hear the sound of death. You do indeed hear the sound of death. <laughs> ah, the fury rush time. <laughs> oh, wait, that stopped him. There we go. Alright. If I die on this one. Oh my god, why are all my weapons are dying to this dude? What the shit man? Oh my god, this dude oh my god, I I swear. This is the worst. Now all my Okay, never mind. Okay, my guardian shield is broken as well. Oh my god, this is this is totally not getting this is totally not worth doing man. Oh my goodness. Why is this Lino so hard to beat? Okay, but then again, it's, it's a freaking Lino. Uh. Kinda expected. <laughs> Third time's a charm? I will hope so. He's gonna wa- oh How did I avoid that? I have no idea. Alright, well, giant weapon should work, right? Whoa. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Bro, I'm about to die. I'm about to die real bad. Okay, 
I have to pump up my health somehow. Okay, get. This Lionel definitely not worth the trip. Why am I doing this, guys? Why am I doing this? I swear. I don't know why I'm doing this. Come on. Give me a fury rush or something. Jeez. There we go. White Lionels are tougher. You don't say! This dude is giving me a run for my money! Oh my god! Oh shit. Oh, I swear. Yeah, one more hit and I'm gone. No, wait. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I got new hints. I'm starting to que question my life choices, guys. Oh, no. oh, no, no, no. Son of a gun. No! Come here! I'm, I, I, I have no more shields, guys, by the way. In case you guys are wondering. Son of a gun. Oh, the angle. The angle! Oh, I'm gonna die. Wait. Durians! Who knew Durians were so useful? Stop it. <laughs> yeah, that's not helping. Uh. <laughs> Just YOLO, no point. Uh. No, there is a point! There is a point! Wait. It's just a little bit left. You hard anything, oh god. Ah uh, yes, I hear the sound of death. Stop saying that! I'm very close to beating the son of a gun! Oh. Hey Wolfie, welcome in! Uh, I hope everyone's- yeah. Yo, oh my god, that was a fight and a half. Woo! Lionels can be stunned by arrowing their heads and riding to hit them. Oh yeah, I know that. I tried that before and I got hit a couple of times, so I I put that out of the question. Like I I, I that that is out of the question for me. Yo, it's been a while since I've seen you on the Yo, Combs, welcome in! Yo, yo, welcome in, yo. What's up, what's up? Hey Souls, good to see you as well. Howdy, howdy. Oh my goodness, a bunch of you are here as well. Hey Combs, what's up, man? Yeah, it's been a while. Shout out to Combs. Actually, you I'm have not, defeated like, me. What did it take? Everything. <laughs> Kerms, how are you? BKK was great. BKK was great. Um, I was just t telling chat about it. I was living vicariously. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, it was fun, but it was tiring altogether. Just like this fight. Uh, oh man. No problem, no problem, Kerms. Uh, yeah, do give Kerms a follow as well, both on Kick and on Twitch. Um, I only slept one hour last night, brief full of what I couldn't sleep. Oh my goodness. So please have a good rest, man. Thanks for popping in though to check in. Uh, and thanks for lurking if you're planning to lurk. Where's Cubs? Cubs is over on Kick. I am actually streaming on both Twitch and Kick at the same time. Yeah. My goodness. And I just sorry guys if I wasn't looking at chat. Why Woofie is good to see you as well. I'm having I was having a bad time, but now I'm having a great time because we just beat a we just defeated a white lion. Oh, that's actually insane. Also shout out to White Wolfy as well. Acknowledge me! Just a wolf. So tired I forgot to acknowledge Kerms. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. Kerms is over on uh it's over on kick. Uh the better side, I would say. My job is done. Alright. So I hope your 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 job is treating you well. Uh, take it easy, as, as much as you can. Hello on the other side. Yes, please go go and get your rest, man. Sleep is really, really important. Uh, you can always wa watch the VOD if you have to, uh, eventually, right? Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. Check, I'll, I'll check in with you as well. I'll check in with you as well, man. Take it easy, man. Uh, yeah, BKK trip was... Oh, at least we got a shield out of it. And a sword, which we can use. And a bow. Fantastic. Doesn't stream. I always keep thinking that you stream because of your name. But hey, you just came in just in time because we just kicked a white Lionel's ass. Apparently, it's a really tough fight. Wow. I actually got myself into a lot more trouble than expected. 
I question my decision whether I face a Lionel. Yep, I kind of was questioning as well. <laughs> Why did I even do that? Now I'm like so low on a bunch of things. But okay, we will we'll see. Love White Wolf's company. There we go. Tireless Frog. I should probably get some potions and stuff as well. Yeah, there we go. Gourmet steak. Alright, we got some food in at least. Oh, Foxy. No shields too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I go in like... I, I don't know, somebody was telling me maybe I should do a no armor, like a, a, a no armor run of this game. Well, look at me, I'm level 5. Oh yeah, yeah, if you like... No chat more often in uh in what you call it kick chat yeah they will level you up so they go by levels as well you know what's the most disturbing thing I am actually only have one shield which kind of sucks um no armor run I want to die yeah probably I I I would I would just give up too <laughs> yeah. Oh, at least I, well, at least these dudes have weapons and stuff. There we go. <laughs> OMG, Kick changed the mod batch. I've been missing out. Oh, yeah, Kick just made a bunch of changes. One thing they have not added though is freaking tags. <laughs> tags are still pretty much absent. I don't know why. What's up? Oh shit, bats. Oh my god. Run away! Hey, look, I'm dribbling. <laughs> oh shit, I can actually I can actually play soccer with this thing, really. Oh shit. <laughs> I can dribble this. That's actually bro, I didn't even realize that. But yeah, um no armor run. Um Kick recently released the new app again. Um which apparently now it's uh, a lot more yep. optimized. But it's still a bit calmic here. <laughs> I think there's a chest there. There we go. Alright. I think instead of getting distracted with this, it's time to move on to Varmido. We have one last ancient beast to clear. That Lionel was just a distraction. Oh, that's the kite shield. Okay. Uh, I need more shields now. And I need more ancient Oh my god, these dudes. Uh... The oh she Dionara. From that horse, yeah. Jeez. Oh, they got air. What are you doing there, sir? Oh my god. My aiming is scuffed. Stuff. <laughs> the distraction that took weight. Yeah, I know. No, I just wanted to try fighting a lion, a white lion. I, I don't really, I honestly didn't know what to do. These dudes. Hey. Hello. Hey, oh, oh my god. Wow, okay. I sort of regret staying here. Let me just... Why are these guys after me now? Oh wait, because it's night time. So... Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked. What the hell? Oh, there's one more of this dude. This guy, is... okay, this guy is a problem. My aiming is a problem as well. My aiming is really bad. Hey, come here! Bro. Yeah. It, it kinda feels like the longer I stay here, the worse this is going to be. <laughs> yep. Definitely is. There we go. Finally. Alright, I should probably get out of here. I should probably move to like to a safe area, guys, isn't it? 
What the? Stop. Okay, this is yet another distraction. What a bully! Yes. I don't know what I have to do to stop me from bullying, but there we go. Alright, finally. Yeah, that took that took way too much time, guys. Alright. Oh my goodness. Why why? Why am I doing this? Oh wait, can I do something? Okay, I, I know this is getting distracted. Can I Can I ride this thing? Oh shit! I can ride this horse! Hey look, I have a skeleton horse! What the hell? Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ew. Can can I tame this thing? <laughs> what? Yeah, Star Horse. Wowzers! Yes, indeed. Hey, welcome into chat, Mr. Dex. How are you, man? On uh, over there on Kick. Okay, anyway, I'm wasting time here. Okay, apparently I can't tame this thing. Um, uh, Star Horse. Wait. Uh, oh, I can't tame it. I can't tame this. Okay, so I can just ask. I should. I can only ask it to go... Wait, if I bring it back to the stable... Can I register this thing? I don't think it can, right? Yeah, it's not It's not responding. You can try, uh... uh okay. Let's try. Yeah, anyway, I need to go and rest at the stable. Uh, it's night time, as, as we all know. Night time is not a good time to be out. Did I just run into that thing? Yeah, I totally ran. Oh wait, ice bats. Never mind. Time to time to kill. I'm going to get my ass frozen. Yes. <laughs> Son of a gun. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, where's where's the uh, where's the freaking line? Hey, that's a shooting star. Damn. Okay. But never mind. Uh, need to get, need to get some, uh, need to register first. Okay. Master Sword's power has been restored, yeah, just as we reach this place. Okay, let's see if we can rest. Okay, hold on. Shit, you can't actually register it! Oh my god, for real. What in Hyla's name? That's a monster, not a horse! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, but you can't board that thing, it might eat other horses. Okay, 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 can't, never mind. I was a bit hopeful that we could actually register. <laughs> okay, never mind, it's a monster horse! It's not supposed to be. It's not right. <laughs> it's basically, it's not right. <laughs> well, wishful thinking on my part. Anyway, let's cook some stuff. Let her cook. Uh, we are running low on some food, so yeah, yeah. I I wish we could have actually done that, but uh, yeah, it was worth a shot. It would have been interesting if you could actually register. <laughs> you know what's the funny thing? There's actually dialogue for for that. That's what I'm more amazed by. There's actually freaking dialogue for that. <laughs> So, color me impressed, Nintendo. Okay, anyway, uh, I should get some potions done because um, we're running a bit low. Okay, got one tireless drop. A... Let me. Let me cook. Yeah, to get some potions in. Enduring elixir, very nice. Uh, fairy. Uh, should I cook a fairy? Wait, can I? Wait. This fairy will fly from uh, It's near it's near fire, fire, but it glows in the daylight as well as night. I think I can cook fairy with monster parts, right? Can I? 
I don't know what will happen, yeah. The poor fairy. <laughs> fairy tonic. Okay. Just fairies, right? Okay. Well, well, something good came out of it at least. I thought like something weird was gonna happen. Fireproof lizard. Okay. Maybe we should get some fireproof potions. Yeah. Alright, fireproof elixir with no healing properties whatsoever. Yeah. I was horrified at the first thought of myself cooking fairies. <laughs> hey, but if they allow it, you know, why not? <laughs> okay, I'm out of insects, so I think let's just. Oh, there's flint here. And there's some spicy peppers. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a rest and then we're gonna head to Varmido. Also, pet the dog. Can we? Oh, no, oh, we can feed the dog, right? Yeah, let's, let's let's give it some apples. Who's a good doggo? 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 We feed him more. Yeah, if you eat, if you feed the doggo enough, it will lead to treasure, really? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Oh, it's being picky now. It's being picky now, it wants other food. Okay, wait. What if I give you, like, good stuff? You can't hold that here. He's being picky now. I feed it meat. It's not. It's not. It's not picking up the meat though. Hold on. It's. It's not eating the meat. Okay, never mind. Is it? Yeah, please eat it. Thank you. Nah, it's trying to turn to the meat, right? As the uh, path finding was a bit scuffed. Oh, now it's... Okay, never mind. Now it's coming after me. Uh, I don't, I don't think dogs eat fish, right? Okay. Yeah, you love meat, right? Okay. I probably should cook some of this meat, though. <laughs> uh, Wolfie, it sounds like you love dogs, by the way. Then again, who doesn't, right? Uh, what else can I give it that it would love... I don't think dogs really love fruit, right? I'll just give you the uh, gourmet meat. Do <laughs> we love dogs? What makes you think that? Uh, your name? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. What about fish? Let me just give him a regular fish. Does it eat fish? You don't eat fish? Oh wait, 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 wait. Something's happening. Something's happening. Something's happening. Uh, you, you don't want fish? Uh, okay. How about bananas? Uh, I should probably cook some bananas. Oh, wait, wait, he's going somewhere. Uh, okay, dude, I'm running out of meat. Like, what else do you want? What else can I get? Okay, you know what? Uh, how about something cooked? Oh, I cannot drop this. I can eat that though. Uh, wow, you're, you're a picky one. Uh, seriously? Do I give, to give you all my meat? That's what she said. How much do I have to feed this dog before it leads to treasure? Also, there's a wait. There's a shield there. Be useful. Uh, it's still okay. You know what? <laughs> I'm not joking about the treasure. 
I, I mean, I believe you. It just eats a lot. <laughs> I mean, I believe you. I believe you. But, man, how much food do we have to feed this thing? <laughs> Here's dog opens muzzle. Where are you off to, sir? Follow? Okay. Uh, oh! Oh! Huh, I get what you mean. Alright. Alright, there we go. Okay, so if I feed it again, then it will... It will have... A mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. It looks like... Oh, wait! This is the... This is the, the shooting star, right? That always falls falls from the sky. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Okay, well, that's enough meat for you. Dude. <laughs> We're done for the day. We're done for the day. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let me go and cook the rest of the meat then. <laughs> hey, but what is it good for? Hmm... I wonder. Alright, anyway. Oh, it's to upgrade certain clothes. Kind of like what the fairy does? Is that it? Like, like what those fountain fairies do half the time, right? Interesting, interesting. I always never made it to those, or I went to investigate those shooting stars. I thought it wasn't really worth the time, <laughs> but apparently it is. And uh, looks like you can actually get something out of it. Uh, maybe I should. Okay, here we go. Let me get an attack up. There we go. Salty grilled gourmet meat. I have not cooked bananas in quite some time. Maybe I should uh, get some attack boost. Oh, fantastic. Alright, let's go and rest. Uh, let's go and find Vamido. Shooting star, um, bananas, woo. Yes, indeed, indeed. Oh. Oh, I can sell stuff. Uh, let me see what I can sell. Uh, I could probably. I should probably sell some monster parts. Alright. Thor would like more durians too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will probably go and collect more durians along the way. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I should probably go and get more durians. Uh, let me sell Ooh. more. Probably shouldn't sell too much of the monster parts because I could use them to upgrade stuff. But I think 20, if I sell them 20. Anyway, I encounter a lot of these monsters. It shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> yeah, I'm freaking rich now. I need the money for the for the armor set and, and shit. Anyway, we goody. Uh, let me, let me just rest for the uh. night. Go and collect some durance and we can be off on our way to uh, regular bit. Yeah, I'll just get a regular bit. Morning. Yeah, so we can collect some durians, then we'll be off to Varmido. Uh and Ooh. then we will kick some ancient beast ass, hopefully, a little bit. Um Hopefully not too late. Uh hey, where am I? Oh do I teleport again? Okay, the question is where the heck is the uh where the heck is the Durians? Should be Farron Tower, right? I believe it's Farron Tower, yeah. Let me go and get some Durians in. Because, guys, I tell you, Durians in this game, if you cook it right, you know, <laughs> they're gonna help, help you a lot. It's called the King of Fruits for a reason. But I think actually we are more or less ready to tackle Ganon. Yeah, jump across, right? Yeah, I remember that. I remember, okay, I remember I always. I always remember this area for having a lot of durians. This is like the cheat code uh, to uh, to getting like more hearts, or oh, no, not hearts, but to recovering your health. Durian steamboat. Oh yes, I have heard of the durian steamboat. Uh, 
I'm not sure if I actually will try it though. <laughs> yeah, Durus D boat. Have have you tried it yourself? SWAT, it's a bit uh, I don't know. It just sounds very questionable to me. <laughs> uh wait, where's my uh where are my pants, bro? Highland pants, Highland hood. Oh wait, my Highland hood is always on. There we go. Man, I'm, I'm s <laughs> dude. I have so much. Is now ready to roll. I have so much damage right now, right? It's it's crazy. I, I literally just one shot those those uh, those lizards. Skepticals, yeah, I love Durin, but it's yeah, exactly right. Like, how is that gonna work in a steamboat? I don't understand. Yeah, it's like neither here nor there. Like, not solid, not not liquid either. I don't get it, man. Hey, wait, why is there a- wait, hold on, why is there a- Yo, why is there a stone thing over there? Why is there a- Yeah, why is there a stone giant here? Literally just knocked me off my pedal floor. Yeah, why is- why is there- why is there the dude over there? I don't understand. Uh, I love durian cake, ice cream, and stuff. Exactly right. But durian, yeah, durian steamboat just feels a bit. Oh my god, what the hell? Feel, feels a bit sussy. Yeah. Hey, wait, why are there these stone things here now? Did they just upgrade this, like, area with, like, monsters and stuff? Yeah, it kind of feels like they did, right? <laughs> I don't remember this area having that many monsters. Like, seriously. Okay. If you climb up there, there's another... Oh my god, no. I'm not dealing with another Lionel. You mean climb up this this rock, this cliff here? For real? Yeah, I don't think... I think I'm not going there. Not for now. Uh, I'm just here for the Durians, man. Just, just give me my Durians and... Uh, yeah, we Gucci. I share, go try it, my friend. Are you seriously considering it? <laughs> okay, if you do go and try it, please, 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 uh, let me know. Uh, if it's actually, you know, any good. Uh, like I said, I, I love Durians, but... Yeah, I'm not so, not so sure about, uh... It being turned into a steamboat. Sounds interesting, actually. What if they use Mala? Why they put it in mala tongue? Will you still eat it? Write a two-page report for us. <laughs> no, no, no. I I've had enough reports for one semester. Yeah. Just 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 share your uh, experience in detail. Will do. I might as well get some wood out of this. Right. Once we're done with the durance, we will be off to, um, yeah, figure out how to beat Vamido, the flying one, uh, which will be quite interesting to, to, to combat, because I don't think we fought a flying, like, boss just yet. Where the Durin? Okay. Uh, oh, why do I keep dropping into this? Alright, so again, as you guys can see, this spot has a lot of Durin, so... Yeah, I'm just making full use of this. I'm laughing at those bombing trees. Um, and isn't that the most, like, efficient method of like clearing out trees for your needs I mean there's bomb fishing there is tree bombing and you the best part is you can get wood out of it so why not you know wood is really important by the way let's say you need to take a chill chill pill you know hey what's this ah uh? 
Can I make these? What 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 what's this thing here? Can I can I shift it? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I see this thing fly. Oh, what's this? Big hearty radish. Oh, tay. Okay, I don't know what is this thing doing there, but it's just like just supposed to block you. Use the other one, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, enough of these puzzles. I would love to try out more shrines, but I think more importantly, we have a varmido to kill, or not to kill, but to retrieve. So in order to get to the varmido, uh, what am I doing? Varmido, varmido. It's all the way. Maybe I shall stream IRL at the Durance Team Boat. Oh, please do, man. I, I would love to see your reaction. <laughs> uh, okay, where's Varmido again? Is it Zora? No, it's not Zora. Um, it's the f area with the flying thingamajig. I think it's somewhere here, right? Ta is it Tabenta? Uh, Rito Village. Rito Village. Correct. Let me travel. Have I placed fruits in front of statues? Yes, I have. Uh, if you're talking about the Kuroks appearing, yes, I have. And guess what? If you stream IRL Durian Steamboat, I will be there. Confirm. Right? Because I want I would love to see your reaction. <laughs> hey yo, Rando! Welcome in, man. What is up? It's been a while. Do it, do it. Do it, SWAT. Uh, can we give a shout out to uh, Rando uh, on Twitch? I appreciate that. How <laughs> has your how is your hum day coming along? Aha. What's that? Which I feel this hum? Which I am? <laughs> wow, nice. It was a faster way down. <laughs> nice, what a clip. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I hope you're doing better than you did. Uh, but welcome to stream. Uh, yes, we are about to go fight uh, an ancient beast again. Um, AKA the Barbie, though. You came in just in time. But I hope your hump day is good. I remember that clip. <laughs> yeah, we all remember our worst moments, don't we? Now nah, I'm scared. Just do it. Just do it. I mean, you said you were considering it already. Okay, on, but it will also, I think it depends on how expensive the uh, the steamboat actually is. Yeah, right. Like whether or not it's actually worth the price. Oh yeah, how are we supposed to? Oh yeah, 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 correct, correct, correct. Okay, are we supposed to meet this person here? Thirty-five bucks. Oh, actually, not too bad. Eh? Actually, not too bad. Mm. What must you insist on worrying your poor mother? What's the matter? My youngest daughter, Kyo, wants to go to Warbler's Nest. She won't stop talking about it. I have five daughters, and ever since that beast appeared, they have been getting media by the minute. Uh, at times like this, I wish he was around. I wish I could be a kid again and think only of myself. Yeah, I think that's what, ev what every parent wishes to be, right? I go sleep, have fun, and stream. Oh yeah, thanks, hey, dude, thanks for popping by, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, have a good rest, have a good rest. Uh, do, yeah, do give Randall Brand a follow. Uh, there's a lot of arson. Oh, stop it. We got an Opal here, man. Opal Gundam style. Just pop in and say hi. No worries, man, dude. Yeah, have a good one, have a good one. I'll, I'll catch you, I'll catch you again soon, alright? I uh, hope your, your week gets even better from here on out. And uh, have a good rest. They say it's too dangerous to go outside the village right now. Uh, all I want to do is sing with my sisters at Warbler's Nest. The Divine Beast Varmado is a big jerk! Yeah, watch your language, kid. Watch your language. Actually, 35 bucks is pretty okay. I I would if I had a bunch of friends to go with, I would. But if, what what are the reviews like? That is the question. Also, I'm kind of aimless. Where are we supposed to? Okay, let's look at the quest. Okay, uh, Canelli. Uh, see, it's been so long since I looked at the quest log. Canelli, elder of Rito Village, wants you to help the local soldiers named Tiba. Uh, you offered your assistance, but first you must find the soldier. Tiba's wife, Saki, may know... <laughs> wow. 
what a name, Saki. Um, ask around the- wait, isn't that Saki? I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> yes, yes. No, this is Amali, this is Amali. Okay, never mind. Uh, where is Saki? Saki Taki, where are you Saki? Oh my goodness, no. I, should, I should stop saying it that way. Uh, where, where is Saki? Are you here? Is that her? The Traveler! Yes, I think that's you. Uh... Here, there. Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Tiba, in the fight against Nido. Uh, but to tell you the truth, there is not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where did he go indeed? Let me lower the volume. Can't really help hear myself. Uh, well, my husband headed to a place called Flight Range. Oh shit, are we gonna learn how to fly? It's in Dronox Pass at the base of the Hebra Mountains. There's a place where Rito warriors prepare for aerial combat. We're gonna fly. Um, I imagine he's going there. He's gone there to gather weapons for another run at me though. Uh, it happens he made his way to the flight range for foot this time. On foot. If you take off from Ravali's landing, it's straight down shot at the flight range. Oh, excuse me. Ravali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Ravali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Oh, cutscene! Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, song request, on pause. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, is this another memory? Oh shit, okay, let's go. Alright, alright. Let's, let's see what's up. Flashback. <laughs> Oh shit, that's Barbido. Where are they where when are they gonna name a beast Vakin? <laughs> they call it Toe Vakin, right? Oh shit. Oh it's this Is this in pessimistic I know. Very son of few a gun. can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows yeah, yeah, me to yeah. soar. It's considered to be it. quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among the Rito. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Yeah. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. <laughs> this guy is full of Yet himself, what these the truths, crap, It man. seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your Death, back. Death, the arrogant bird. I mean... He's so arrogant, you might as well just call him cocky. <laughs> Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. He didn't even say jack shit! <laughs> oh, I know. How about up there? This guy is just like looking for trouble. Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast this on your own. This piece of shit. <laughs> this guy is a piece of work. Good luck sealing the darkness. Yeah, good luck getting up. Good luck getting your beast back. He's probably dead. <laughs> and and they, they, they actually got some. They actually built a statue in his. They named a pass in his honor. Descendant! Descendant! Why are you calling him? That's such a weird way to call someone. Descendant. My apologies, I feel I've said far too much. Uh, is there. If there is anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Alright. Why do Why are we even like. Why do we even bother going to the flight range, right? Thank goodness he's dead, right? This dude. <laughs> okay, but I like how all the champions have their own like issues and stuff. Where's the flight range anyway? Is it like wait, hold on. Oh wait, we can actually Link has to prove himself enough. Law accurate Link is deadly. Tolling, look at the Lionel. The Lionel? Wait, there's a Lionel somewhere? Okay, I'm not gonna. No, I'm 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 done with Lionels for the day. <laughs> oh, by the way, I think I'm supposed to like 
like, take a picture of a lino. I think that was one of the uh, one of the jobs. Oh shit, I'm freezing. Uh, that was one of the quest items, I believe. Uh, to look for a uh, to take a, to snap a picture of a lino, I believe. It's one of the quest items. All right, better now, Link. Okay, wait. Uh, flight pass, flight pass. There we go. We were here earlier, I believe. Also, don't know why I did that. I thought there was something we could, um, you know, blow up. Also, my my stamina feels like it feels like my stamina needs another ring, like another another extra like thing around it. Actually, wait, how many orbs do I have? Spirit orbs. Maybe I should go have a look. I could yeah. pump up my stamina by a bit. Tiba! Word up, sir. Oh, is he gonna help us? You. And I'm actually pretty busy here. You should probably go. <laughs> wow, rude. That's rude, dude. What? No help? N no nothing? Really? Yeah, you're 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 you've been great help. I'm busy here. I can help hmm. with what exactly? Vamido. Let me get this straight. Some random Hylian wants to help me bring down Divine Beast Vamido. I'm not buying it. I am not just any random Hyrulean. Hmm. Well, Link, I'm Tiba, but you already know that. I'm guessing the Elder asked you to come here and talk some sense into me. That's right. Just like the elder to trust any foe wandering in the town. Hey, are all the these people from Rito like just as stuck up and cocky and arrogant as, as their leader, as their hero? Looks you seem like a okay, look, you seem like an alright guy, but let's make one thing clear. I'm not going anywhere. As a Rito warrior, I can't rest until my people are safe. Are you also just as like arrogant as your hero? There's only one way I'm going back to Rito Village, and that is... Hmm. Once Divine Beast Barbido is... Uh, beat, sorry. Right. Went on to us. If I have to kill Barbido, if I have to kill Mido, so be it. Only then will I return to the village. Let's get started mm -hmm. then! Are you serious? Yeah! This is what I killed a, a Lionel and picked up all the Durans and traveled all the way here for. Ha, well, for it, for, far be it from me to talk to you off the ledge. But as... Uh, but it's as the elders said. The only way to stop Divine Beast Barbie though is to get inside. Yeah, I mean, I've heard that before. Uh, bad chance of that happening. There's no way you can set foot in Barbie though. Actually. Ah. So not only are you wingless, you're brain. <laughs> all the all the Rito people, warriors like, like that. Let me fill you in. The only people able to enter Divine Beast are the five champions of old. And unfortunately for us, the rest of the Hyrule and, and the rest of Hyrule, they all died hundreds of years ago. If it hadn't been for Ganon, never mind. Let's focus on bringing down the, uh, Mido one step at a time. If we approach Mido recklessly, its cannons will blast us out of the sky. Oh shit, there's cannons. Um, so I'm going to need to test you before I take you with me. We Rito warriors use the updraft in this ravine to haunt our aerial arteries. Oh, the one where you actually are able to Toki Wo Tomare. Uh, the updrafts are so strong here that a person could just open up a cloth over their head. Jeez, I wonder why. I wonder how we how to get that cloth, man. Hmm. Now let's see what you're capable of. You have to maneuver through the air and destroy five of the targets set up in this valley in three minutes. Any pointers? <laughs> using a bow in mid-air is just like using a bow on the ground. Uh, you probably want a bow suited for long-range engagement. Uh, use your bows to destroy five tigers. Uh, I should be fine. I already de tested cold feet. No. Hmm. Uh, I mean, yes, but I'm ready. Hmm. Let's do this. Five targets with... That, that should take about, like, five arrows. Minimum. Three, two... Wait, where are the five targets? Uh, wait, let me change my arrow. Oh, there we go. Alright, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, there we go.
Alright, left mine. Get a bit nearer. Oh, so apparently slow mo does um, take some of the stamina, right? One more. Okay, uh, we just need one more, right? Does it? I mean, freaking slow mo, guys. I mean, come on. Hmm. Not bad at all for a Hylian. Uh, I've got to tell you, Link, when you first showed up, I thought someone was pulling a prank on me. Uh, after seeing you handle that boy, I can tell you the real deal. You must have seen the battle or two. Uh, <laughs> um, hundreds of them. Hmm. I believe it. Uh, I feel I've heard the name somewhere before. Well, if you really want to help me, everybody in their own village has heard of their own champion. They heard of the five champions, but they never even bother to find out about their name, and he's actually one of them. That's called ignorance for you right there. Uh, I'll get into position so you can give its cannons all you've got. Inside the treasure chest is a bow, I've modified it, take it and let me know when you're ready. Uh, I don't think we have space for more bows, right? But Falcon bow, durability up, highly refined Rito made bow. Should we bring this along? Um... Should we bring this along? Or should we drop one bow? Lizzle bow. Royal bow. This one attack. This one has attack up, right? I think we can afford to drop one this. I think we can drop the Lizzle bow. I, I, I know it's the Lizzle bow is probably better, but this one has durability up. Oh, actually, it's about the same. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Uh, what do we do now? Hmm. Okay, it's time to face Vami though. Normal arrows won't put a dent in those cannons. You need to hit them with bomb arrows. Uh, the precious commodities don't expect me to do this game, but take the, these bomb arrows. Oh, I, I mean, we have a ton. Also, it's caught up there. Uh, you want some to prepare a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. Uh, what's the plan? Hmm. Uh, I'll draw Mido's fire. Uh, that'll be your chance to destroy the cannons. Uh, four cannons in total. Uh, the main body is protected by a barrier, so there's no use attacking it. Uh, just focus on taking out the cannons from top. Oh, should be quite straightforward. Preparations, hmm. alright. Uh, bomb arrows. Something warm. Okay, just give me a sec. Hmm. Let me check. Don't hump me! Don't hump me, dude. Uh, I think we should be fine. Wait, how many bomb arrows do we have? That's the question. 60. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. Hmm. Alright, let's do this, guys. Um, Alright, I'm ready. Hmm. Let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Uh, why risk your life to bring down Mito? Uh, I mean, rescue hmm. Zelda, duh. Zelda. Uh, but that's the name of the princess Rivali served 100 years ago. Dude. <laughs> I don't know what she has to do with Divine Beast by Mito, but whatever. You are cocky ass, couldn't get around that. As long as you are helping me bring down Mido, your motivation is fine by me. Right, get on. Oh, we are riding him. Hey. <laughs> we, we, are, we are riding him. We're ride, riding, riding him. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be a long night, guys. Alright, showtime. I hope I got the right arrows. Man, even if I feel like I'm gonna freeze up. Even I feel like I'm gonna... Wait, do we have to put on something else? Extra layer? Isn't that cool? There's the... There's the Vibe Beast Wow, fantastic. Everything is protected except the cannons. Gee. I wonder how we're gonna blow that shit up. What a pain. What's wrong, Link? Too scared to talk. Let's go over the plan. Hmm. Oh shit. Uh, those cannons, I'll draw their fire. While I'm doing that, use your bomb arrows to destroy the the the, the get. I almost say cannons. The cannons. Got it so far. If you need to withdraw for a bit, just spread your cloth and float straight up in the updraft for a while. Uh, I'll take that aside that we need. To 
Uh, don't bother aiming for anything covered by Mido's barriers and impenetrable. Uh, and whatever you do, don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, uh, I know I've said this a few times, don't forget your cold protection. I already have that on, good sir. Unless you're telling me it's three times colder. Uh, let, let's go. Alright, uh, go up, block those here. cannons. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Uh, bomb arrows, right? That was a complete miss and a bad idea. Okay, I have to, I have to go closer. Is he gonna? Great, great, fantastic. Um, I definitely have to go nearer. There we go. One more. There we go. That's it. All right. Uh, Watch out. Is it aiming for me? It is aiming for me. Oh, did I regroup again? It's targeting us. Yo, Potoru, how are you, man? Can we give a shout out to Potoru? Uh, welcome in. I am good. I'm doing good. Uh, we are fighting uh, Bamido, the big bad. Uh, now that I'm back from Bangkok. Please target the, 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 the flying arrogant bird. Thank you. But how are you doing, man? Good sir. Hope you've been good. You finally got the, the survey for your research? Oh, that's nice. It's good to know, dude. For next week, you guys can take a break. As in what, your novel? Be careful! I am being careful, good sir. You just worry about flying around. We did it. There we go. Easy does it. Oh, what? Oh, not for your novel? What, what was it for again? For what? I can't remember, sorry. It's been a week since I've seen you, so... Forgive me if I've forgotten our conversation. Well there we done, go. That's and... History. Just as the cutscene happened, there's a f***ing ad. Uh, if you don't like ads, co-streaming on Kick as well. Get on there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> What's going on, dude? You don't look so good. Oh, it looks like the uh, the updraft is just uh, affecting him. Bad news, Link. Looks like I got hit pretty good back there. I oh think, shit! He looks charred. Flight range. I just hope that. I can make it back. You head down the middle. Now, so much for being a, uh, uh, for it's being uh, yeah, so much for being a Rito warrior. Dude. All right. Well, looks like we're down for another puzzle, guys. And uh, hopefully, before the night, the end of the night, we can clear this puzzle. Uh, the use of VTuber models in the treatment of social anxiety and the use of VTuber models... Oh, yes, yes, because of your, your counselling, right? I'm wondering if you can help me on this aspect in particular, filling in the survey. Yeah, sure. Um, post it up in the Discord. Um, good sir. I will go and look into it. But I can't say I am a specialist or am well... Uh, I'm a, a subject matter expert in this area. Uh, but I'll try my best to 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 uh, give my opinions uh, as accurately as possible. Travel gate register. Let's go. All right, guys. We are basically on well, airship, bro. I've seen that face before. Yeah, I no shit. It's me again. You would show up eventually, but making me wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. Yeah, you will want to talk. You're here to wrest control of Meadow away from Ganon. Correct? 
If so, then the first thing you'll want to do is find yourself a map. I've done this before. Rivali, Rivali, Rivala, whatever you're called. That guidance stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Can you make it there? Uh, should be. Yeah, piece of cake, dude. Piece of cake, I'm telling you. We've done this before a couple of times, haven't we? <laughs> Wait, where's the, uh, where's the eye? Where's the eye thing? There's an eye, there's supposed to be eyes on there. Uh, it's all about objectivity, doing both face cam streamers and VTubers. Ah, oh wait, the eye is here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, but yeah, pop into the Discord. Uh, that, that, that survey. In fact, if you want, you can ask. There are a few VTubers on my, uh, on my Discord as well. I think they don't mind helping, helping you out. Oh, wait, how high can this updraft carry? Oh, apparently very high. Uh, but this is the uh, this is the large uh, the large garlic thing, which we can only unlock once all the other controls are unlocked. Uh, yep, that's the main control. So that's not it. I think this puzzle may be just as confusing as all the other ones that we've attempted. Which channel do I post it in? Ah, uh, good question. Uh, you can post it in. Jeez, uh, what can I? What, where can you post it in? Uh, I think you just post it in. <laughs> in uh, general, I guess you can try. It. Just, just, yeah, just put it in general. Uh, because honestly, I, I also don't know where else <laughs> you can post it. Okay, wait. Um, we are supposed. To... Can I get across like this? Oh wait, there's a... Never mind. Fine, just post it in general, and uh, I think people will be more than willing to help answer your survey. What the heck are those things? All oh, right, those are the uh, the up. Oh. Hey, go away. Nobody likes you. Yeah, no. Hey, wait. Oh, this thing is. Oh, this thing is. It's spewing out stuff. Uh, I really appreciate this. There's no worries, man. Uh, more than willing to help. Okay, we need to find the source of this. Not it's just gonna keep spitting out that the, those monsters. Which is uh, hella irritating, if you ask me. Okay. Well, I think I will need your VTuber model to treat me for anxiety after this because yeah, this is gonna be a long day uh, seeing as how this is going so far. As you guys know with every single ancient beast that we are dealing with, um, it's never that straightforward. It's a bunch of puzzles that we have to clear. It's gonna be another long night I think. I don't know if we can degen but I would really hope to clear this boss by tonight if possible i mean we did spend a lot of time talking about my bkk trip and stuff and i didn't even show you guys the the tour of the uh of the gundam base that, uh, that i went to visit you know. <gasps> close enough Yeah, but by the way, this research, is it your own research that you've been wanting to do or is it like part of your work? I mean, I, I guess your work is your work, right? Oh, do you... Not this thing. Yeah. 
Alright. Thanks for this. Oh, never mind. The spear? Yeah, I'm gonna drop this. Favor. Guardian spear is always better. Oh, it's something you've been eyeing for a while. Like, you've always been one thing. Okay, because you're a VTuber, right? It makes sense. Hey, Simon, yo, welcome in. It's good to see you. Uh, how was your day? Uh, it's very rare to see you up this late. <laughs> Watching the streams. Let's go! Yeah, unlocking... Is, I mean, this is just unlocking the map. <laughs> we haven't even scratched the surface of this thing. Your day is fine, nice. Good to... Oh, there we go. Alright, it's unveiling all the uh, all the controls. Based off observation, there are those who benefited from VTuber counseling, just as those who fare well from face-to-face. -face. I've noticed it helps social anxiety. Of course, uh, anything that... where the person does not have to see whether where there's an illusion of a real person being there, I think it definitely helps. Uh, I, I Actually, you do bring up a very good point. Sometimes it's better to uh, put on an image that is more friendly than, you know, having an actual person there. Because sometimes having an actual person there does cause anxiety. Um, so I think, yeah, you have a point with the whole VTuber helping out, uh, helping in the counseling aspect of anxiety. Tomorrow is your off day from work. Ah, that explains. So I want to get the data regarding the matter. You know who would be the best person to ask with regard to this? My students. <laughs> I, I, I can, I mean, I can help spread the, the survey to my students and see if they feel that, you know, it will help because I do have some students that are suffering from anxiety. So maybe they, they could help. They, they might be a better uh, subject to ask. Can I play Pokemon Scarlet DLC? Dude, I haven't even like started playing like Pokemon Scarlet at all. <laughs> I don't think I'll even get you down to it. need to look closely at your map of the Divine Beast. The okay. terminals that will activate Meadow are marked by those glowing points. Okay. You'll need to activate all of the terminals to take back control. Think you're up to it. Uh, yeah, I, I cleared like Varuta and all of those other things that were way more confusing. I think this one, I don't know, I think, I, I'm not sure if Varmido is as confusing, but it seems it's quite straightforward on the map. Yeah, there's the, wait. Oh, we need, we, we also need to tilt this thing. Are you shitting me? Oh great. Oh great. Yes, we still need to tilt the thing. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, 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 yo. I did not tell you guys to do that. Give me a sh give me a second. Right. Ew, wait. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, so those things can slide around. Fantastic. Um it's essentially a personality being portrayed through a virtual person. I'm approaching this through the view of a VTuber models being the expression of the unconscious mind. Uh, even though the models can, you can can tell quite a bit from the person. Uh, of course, it's kind of like stand abilities where um, I, I don't know if you watch JoJo, but yeah, stand abilities, right? Yeah, projection of one's uh, oneself and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it would be interesting. Also, uh, can I collect this? That's not work. Where is this thing connected to? Where is this goop? Alright, I think we have the experiment. Uh, let's tilt this down. I heard degeneracy, yes. We may be. We may be degenerating on this stream, just, just to clear this boss, not gonna lie guys. Oh, so it, dude, it just tilts like that. We're not even like, it's not even a full tilt, it's just a slight tilt. Bro. Okay. Uh, hmm, interesting. Interesting. Alright, let me go this way. It's so weird. Pass on to the students, uh, it would really help. Yeah, uh, of course I'll, I'll get those students who are more responsible uh, to, uh, to ask. <laughs> I'll ask those students who are definitely more responsible. 
Oh shit. Oh no! Bruh. Okay. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> well, but at least this this map, uh, this challenge isn't as confusing as the past few um, beasts that we have encountered, so to speak. Okay, this is a bit tricky because if I allow myself to float up any higher, uh, I may I'll miss the ladder itself. Okay, you know what? Let me just uh, let me just realign this. It's gonna be a long night. It's gonna be a long night, guys. So don't wait up. <laughs> right, grab, 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 grab. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna jump right down to this thing here. Honestly, I don't know where this good, this good thing is. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, more bomb! Oh, fantastic! That's what the doctor ordered. Ouch! Okay. Uh, where do we go now? Okay, I remember we destroyed one part on the outside. This should bring us. Somewhere. Oh, that's one of the controls! Uh, where am I now? Okay, so one of the controls is inside. There is one on the outside as well, so to speak. Uh, oh, we're supposed to glide on glide on the part. Try, huh? Go. Well, actually, I think it's possible. Um. Wait. So what are these things supposed to do? Hmm. Okay, I think we have to go go at it. Not sure where is, where is this supposed to lead me to? It's just like funnels for nothing. Hmm. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this one mostly physics problem, flying from high place to low place. That's the concept, right? Welcome in, by the way, Leonaris. How are you? It's good to see you. I, I should have known you would be here for some Zelda. <laughs> Can we give a shout out to Leonaris, by the way, guys? How you doing? I literally just came back from... Just came back from Bangkok. She can blow this shit up. Are these walls like... Oh, oh, we can blow it up. I think Bami don't want to be very happy. Yeah, what's up, man? Uh... From high place to low place, uh, it's a physics problem. Okay, so looks like I have to uh, navigate around this thing. Okay, I saw that there was a uh, there was an area here that allows you to access the. One of the controls, uh, which is right there. Uh, however. Don't know if my arrow is far enough to hit that shit. Um, wait. Okay, so we need to be smart about this. From high to low. All right, let's go. Why we miss is GGs, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, dude, shit. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Hmm. This is gonna take a lot of health. This is gonna take a lot of health out of our system. So... Get some extra help. So I need to go higher a bit. Acknowledge right. me. Yeah, shouts to Leonarus or Leonarus. As I like to call him, also a huge Zelda fan, which is why he's here. He's here to help us. Miss our shot again, bro. Oh yes, yes it is. Ah, Cooper anyway, Bank. I don't know whether I can get it. Leonardo Riz. Congrats on landing here at the Cooper Bank. You get to deposit the coins. Take these. Oh no! Coins have been deposited. Please try again. <laughs> what you? Is that you? Are you? Why are you talking like that? Thank. There's Danky Kang. Danky Kang. Danky Kang. Bro. Hello! Oh my god, you are you shitting me? <laughs> wow. Okay. I have to... Oh no, I, I know I'm doing wrong. It was a Koopa, <laughs> right? I, 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 I think I know I'm doing wrong. Uh, I need to pew pew the damn thing first. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, it's never gonna work out. <laughs> Get ready for ASMR, guys. We <laughs> chase down to check one to get home. Good. Oh my god. I, I didn't mean anything by that. But okay. Is there actually a better way to navigate this thing? What if we tilt the thing though? What if we tilt? Actually, would it be better if we tilt? Oh shit. No! We <laughs> sound cheeky. Oh shit man, how are we supposed to get down to that? A logistical check! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> chill, chill. Logistical. Logistical? Wait, you're trying to hit something. You're trying to hit at something, right dude? Sus. Okay, wait. wait. How do they even glide to that area? It's like... Oh, wait! Oh, I'm so dumb. Wait, hold on, guys. This is where the tilt comes in. Ah, uh, wrong way. Right. Flip back, flip back. Wait, is it the wrong side? Wait. Okay, so I have to tilt this upward. Chapa <laughs> boy. Uh truth be told I didn't eat much for dinner. So I can't say I chapa. But uh, maybe later I might want to eat something. Yes sir! Okay, now we got it. Now we got it. Now we got it. Now we got it. Open oh, Oh shit, we cannot. Mm. Wait. Ow! Oh, I know! We need to stasis the damn thing! No! No, no, why are you sliding? Bro, I thought I stasis you. Hold on. Am I supposed to stasis the thing? Uh, wrong side. Damn it. Rip. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, this is kind of tricky one. 
Or do I have to use something to... Am I not able to climb? Come on, Link. Really? Okay, so I'm, I, I have to glide. I have to use the gliding mechanic either way. Right? Yeah. Oh my god. Bro. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> I just needed to run up. Alright, here we go. Yeah, what the hell man, I have so much stamina in there, I did not even figure it out. <laughs> Alright, slide back, slide back. Really? I'm not sliding back? Let's go. What's up with you, bro? Very nice to see Zachan. Right on cue. I better, I better tilt this back. Okay, truth be told, so far I think this... I think this beast puzzle, this ancient puzzle... Uh, is not as bad as the other so far. Remaining. Still a ways to go. Yeah, thanks. No thanks to you, Uh, Very nice. Okay, cool. And we are in some weird chamber now. Which- Oh shit! There is shit here. Hold on. Hold on. Bro. Go away! Go away! Nobody likes you! It's right there. Very nice. Du -du 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 -du. Ice arrows! Nice. Okay. Yeah, I could use those. Hey, what the hell? Wait, there's more? <laughs> yeah, that was... Wait, where? Wait, there's more where that came from? Okay. Ooh. What is this? Oh, okay, I need to slide this thing around. Right. Hold on. A tilt up. It's like this this whole damn thing is not like fucking fun. There we go. And what that does I have no idea. <laughs> Is this supposed to do something? Also, I think Link's boots are like... Made of like, the best friction ever. Okay, hold on. Wait, there's one more up there. Okay, 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 okay hold on. Oh, there's a, wait, hold on, there's a compartment here. Is it on the outside? I think it may be on the outside. Like the control switch. Okay. Uh, it looks like we have to get out of here. Eh, but what is, seriously, what is this for? I don't get it. This wind thing. I have a feeling it's really meant for something. Uh, I'm supposed to unlock something and then this thing opens up. Oh, it's here! Okay, the control is there. But I'm supposed to unlock something and then this one like... turns on. <laughs> yeah. 
Neonaris is here. Okay, we, if we close this thing, what happens? Absolutely nothing. Uh. Oh, wait. What if we tilt it? This way. Absolutely nothing happens. The, the button just goes out again. Huh. Okay, these things do get... They, they did slide around a bit. Okay, I gotta think. Okay, something activates when these two things are spinning. Uh... Oh, wait! Oh, hold on! Now something just turned on. Uh... Oh, I need... Okay, I need... This thing needs momentum. Uh... Set. Okay, this thing needs momentum. Let's give it a little bit more momentum. Hopefully it doesn't slide out the moment. Yeah. Just... Eh? Huh? Now this thing is blocked off. I don't understand. Oh, it's because of this. I need to freeze that thing. Hold on. Not freeze it. I need to. I need to slap it on here. Is it this thing needs momentum? I think so, right? Uh. Okay, so this thing opens. Okay, I, I gotta I gotta hold that thing in place. This is a tricky ass puzzle. There we go. It's based on momentum. Yes, sir. R R and D. <laughs> oh man. Physics, right? As you were saying, Leonaris. Physics. Hey, good morning, Mr. Hexman. How are you, man? No classes tomorrow. I'm uh, I'm having a holiday now. It's school holidays now for me. Yeah, so I, I can I can stay up a little bit later. A little bit later. So there I don't really have to teach. Just drop by to say hi, my internet is having problems, so I can't going. view your video. Hey, no worries, man, dude. As long as you're here, I appreciate it. It's the thought that counts. Welcome in. Uh, Salamat Pagi. I hope you're well. <laughs> Alright, nice. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be... I'll be honest with you. I will probably be stuck here the whole night because... As you guys know, I don't deal well with puzzles. Just like the fucking thought at the start, yes. <sighs> yeah, I thought this was gonna be quick. Trying to kill the white lion hole. It's spelled Y. It's spelled L Y N E L. Uh, your <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Why is the word white like denied? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't get this. <laughs> so weird. 
Okay, anyway. On to the other side. Also, why is this group still here? <laughs> the murder is just like how it murdered you, oh god. Don't start. Okay, anyway. Uh, this is the area that it's in. I think it would do us some good uh, to rotate it. Yeah, it'll be much easier to dive down. Thank goodness I upgraded my stamina, so it's not so bad. Um, I can literally just glide on over to the controls here. It's fantastic! And uh, I, have to tilt it, I have to tilt back later. <laughs> no, I'm gonna die. Sorry. Cracking your brain here. Two terminals, two terminals remaining. Okay, so you see, guys, this isn't as bad as the. Honestly, I feel this isn't as bad as the uh, the other puzzles that I've done previously. Yeah, honestly, it isn't. I think I fell first. Okay, I'm, I'm, I thought I was going to die for a minute. Okay, the question is, where are the other two pu not puzzles? The other two controls. They are inside. Wow, we go. To tilt. No, let's start. With this. <laughs> okay, I also am a dumb dumb. Uh, I realized we can magnetize these things. <laughs> Why did I not think of that? Oh, they're way too far. Bro. What? Active. Why? I'm near enough. Why is it. Uh, hold on. Am I supposed? To, do I need to tilt something? Not activate them. Yeah, I remember something shifted. There we go. Yeah, I knew it. Right. Wait. So it that still won't move. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this float me up a bit. Oh shit! No! 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 no. Yeah. Hopefully, give me some momentum to. Ah! Oh, shit! Yeah. It should call Ledger. This should be called Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Mecha. <laughs> <laughs> it kinda is. It kinda is. Breath of the puzzles, maybe, would be a more accurate description. Uh, also, there's this huge gaping hole over here. Where am I supposed to pew pew the thing? Here we go. Get your. Uh, get the heck out of here, man. With that mouthwash. Oh! Hold on. Okay. I think we are at the final few. Yeah, this is the last two the last two devices, right? Yeah, should be able to nail it. Should be able to nail it. Alright. There's no easy way out. What does this do? Oh, okay. Uh Ah of course. Now we can glide. I think you should be able to send an updraft through. There we go. Ah, <sighs> just one terminal remaining. 
what to do now? Maybe you could help me? Huh? <laughs> Instead of just glo 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 gloating, gloating me. Gloating, gloating, gloating. Ah. This way it goes. I just want to get that chest. I can get it! Can I get it? Yes! Holy shit! Okay, but how do I get into that area? Royal Claymore. Oh shit, it's another Claymore. Uh, wait. It has better stats than my current Claymore? Does it have better stats than my current Claymore? Uh, Kinda? Maybe this is not fresh anymore? Drop this. Yeah. Alright, nice. Uh Okay, question is how do I even get into this? Here we go. Uh it's just one last part. Oh wait, hold on, there's there's a little bit of there's a button over here or something. Am I supposed to blow? Oh wait. Jeez. Uh oh wait, hold on. Not, not, it's not. It hasn't just Do I blow this up? Oh wait, hold on. No, 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 there is that thing and boom! Ah, do. Okay, so now we use momentum again. Roll it out, roll it out, roll it out, roll it. That's not what I meant. That is not what I meant. Wait, can I. Wait, hold on, can I... There we go! We can totally use this! I hope he can nail it! Why is this going higher and higher? Oh wait, because of gravity! Yeah, let's go! Okay, there we go! Speed game! Speed run, speed run, let's do this! Last game, let's go! Alright, yeah that was... That honestly, this honestly is the fastest that we have cleared an ancient puzzle, guys. I can hear like 25% of what you say, I heard holiday. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a school holiday right now. Uh, it's the school holidays right now, so I have uh, I have a lot more time. Catch up with you another day, hope you have a great holiday. Yeah, uh, same same to you as well, Hex. Uh, I mean, if you're having a holiday. What's the last terminal? I want you to take a good look at your map. Did it flap to it? Yeah, you don't need to tell me twice. Let's go. Speed run to the sofa. <laughs> uh, speed run to bed uh, after this. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and then yes, the controls are right up there. Yeah, honestly, this this after having done like Baruta and the camel and the, the, the salamander. This this has been the easiest. I think this is the this has been the, like the easiest puzzle so far. Alright, uh, but as we all know, it's boss time! <laughs> right, what horror awaits us? Okay.
I would expect it's uh it's uh, something that's related to flying and we have to beat it. Oh wait. Don't tell me. It's got cannons, right? Wind Blight Ganon! Good luck. That thing is one of Ganon's own and it plays dirty. It defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe Wait. I'm actually saying this. But you must avenge me, Link! Yeah, who gives a shit about you? <laughs> I'm doing this because I have to save freaking Zelda. Alright, where, where the heck is he going, bro? Alright, if all else fails, just use a bomb. Whoa. Okay, that worked. Kinda. Oh, oh. Okay, dude throws tornadoes, right? Wait. Hold on. Do bomb arrows work against this thing? Oh, it do work. Oh, but that hurts. Hey, 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 hey. Give me a sec. Let me recover from this. What do you know? Oh, 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 bro. Chill, bro, chill. Do I actually. Ouch. Do bomb arrows actually work against this dude or do I use like. Okay. Oh, there we go. Right, oh, ancient arrows looks like it works. Wait, hold on. I'm using the. Damn Master Sword. Hello! There we go! Okay, so it looks like Ancient Arrows do, do the trick. Sort of. Stop TPing, you piece of shit. Now's your chance. Alright, well, I fear we may not have enough Ancient Arrows for the job. There must be a better way of uh, dealing with this. Uh, besides using ancient arrows. I don't mind, I might as well use it. Oh! Okay, my sound is being cut off. Bit from time to time. Is it me or is it my sound? What the hell is that? Okay. Hold on. This calls for bomb arrows, right? What the hell? Oh my god! What is this? Is this a bullet hell game? Like, what the shit? Hold on. Please TP to somewhere near. That, that, this just became some bullet hell bullshit, right? Whoa! Yeah, I need to get nearer. Something. Oh, he just came up with more? Bro, okay. Yeah, this just became full of health. What the hell? <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> the poor bro. Uh, what is going on? I yeah, definitely need more durability on this. Oh yeah, I can actually hide behind those damn. Where, Where are you right now? Okay, hold on. I completely forgot I could do this. Yeah, I'm deep. Destroy this damn thing. Load this up. Should load this up. Yeah, you got nothing left. Coward. How does that feel, huh? 
me. I did change my dish. Oh shit. Wow, I just wasted an ancient arrow. I just wasted another one. <laughs> I'm wasting my ancient arrows. God love it. And I'm wasting my hits as well, apparently. Why am I such a genius? Alright, this should be the be all and all. There we go. I have to end this. Oh, come on! Alright, never mind. Uh, let me have, have to save my last arrow. Where are you, you piece of shit? Okay. Wait, hold on. Whoa! Okay. Uh, using the uh, ancient techniques. <gasps> Alright. I was about to say, he's using the ancient lasers to do shit, but okay. Alright. Funny enough, this feels like we... It feels like we should have beaten this boss earlier. It, it kind of feels like we should have beaten this boss earlier than all the other bosses. Because this boss feels like a lot easier than the, the rest that we have encountered. Okay, I don't know why my capture card is like glitching. Let's go. Oh! I think my capture card is loose. Yeah, what's going on? Uh? Oh my god, don't do this. It's just getting to the good part. Ah. Camel and Salah are the harder bosses. Yeah, I would think so. Also, welcome in, Honey Trex. Yeah, my capture card is about to go 99 as well. <laughs> this is what happens after you don't stream for a week, right? Well, welcome in, Honey Trex. Yeah, it kind of feels like we should have. Oh, hold on. We should have taken on this boss first before we proceeded to the rest of Varuta and Varudania. Because those bosses felt like... Ooh. They felt like, uh... They felt like, like, a Dark Souls kind of, like... Dang Souls kind of, like, bosses. Camel, yeah, Camel felt the hardest for me as well. Was it Camel? No, no. Camel was the hardest. No, I I think the the elephant one was the hardest. Yeah, the elephant one was the 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 hardest for me because that one you had to use the lightning that he yeah you he, he had to use the lightning. Uh, you have to use his lightning abilities against himself. Uh, so I, I felt that was a bit tough. Uh, it took me a while to like figure out that you could actually use the pillars that he he dropped down. Uh, to generate, uh, to, to drop the lightning on him as well. Alright, anyway, yeah, let's activate this. Honey Tribe, what's, what brings you in here, by the way? It's good to see you. Um, seeing that you are new new to the stream. Uh, name's Tobakin. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just trying to clear Breath of the Wild. Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? <laughs> Now he's got puns. Now we, now that we've beaten this Gaden thing, he's got puns. Yeah, he was all like arrogant well and shit earlier on, and then I now he's fighting. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This oh, you're returns just meadow back right, to its right. rightful owner. Well, welcome in then. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. It was your job, your by the way, as a warrior, to protect this. A warrior worthy of my thing. unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale. Tension. Alright. Oh, okay. Now we can fly. That's what I'm talking about. Ravali's Gale. It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow's Strike I guess it's you must, head. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. 
feel free to thank me now. <laughs> wow! We saved the last hero. Oh, never mind. Just we saved the most arrogant hero for the last. Your job is far from finished, you know. Uh, kinda. We are actually we actually can go and take on Ganon now because now we've activated Princess. all four ancient beasts. Has been waiting an awful long time. Yeah, you don't say. Are you gonna do the master trials? Uh, I have to purchase the DLC first, right? I believe. I may if I have the time, but I actually am rushing to complete this so I can I'm play our core six. <laughs> uh, mm, fried chicken. Yeah, fried chicken sounds good right about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I okay. So the reason why I'm playing this is because I've always wanted to. to uh, it was just meant to be a filler in between games and stuff. But who knew, you know, how... I mean, I knew this game was gonna be great. Uh, it was a game of the year, actually, 2017. Uh, I didn't expect... It, uh, I didn't expect myself to take so long in completing it. And holy shit, it does really look like a chicken. Yeah, fried chicken sounds about right. <laughs> like, bro... I took 3 weeks every day, 10 hours? Yo. Okay, yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Right, one last laser blast, and I think we're ready for Ganon. Let's go. Your sights are now set. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Well, the time is right now. now. <laughs> we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. Where's my thanks? <laughs> <laughs> artfully patient. After I think that's 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 a I very must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast. And accomplished something that even I could not. Yeah, suck it, man. <laughs> Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. It's nothing to do I with hope luck. That luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. <laughs> yeah, if you had more luck, you wouldn't be a spirit form. You wouldn't have been had your ass kicked by that wind blight thing. <laughs> this guy this is insufferable. But let's go. We are done, and I told you guys, I promised you guys that we would clear, I mean, I didn't promise you guys that we would clear the boss game. But we did! Uh, so now, Blastrous Power, born from the spirit of Champion Ravali, creates an upward draft that carries you into the sky. Activate by charging up with... X? Nani? What? Oh shit! Is it time? Thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us. Let's go. And the spirits of the champions are free. Alright. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, you indeed will be waiting because I <laughs> we need to call it a night here, guys. It's, uh, it's already really late. It's 1 a.m. Uh... Hey, honestly speaking guys, this is the fastest we've ever cleared the boss. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yeah, but yeah, three weeks every day, you no know, ten hours. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Um I mean I would oh wait, hold on, let me catch the uh cooldown. Uh <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, but I like I said I've been putting a lot of work on this game offline as well, so that like I said we can faster clear it and then move on to the, the next best game. Meanwhile, I realize it's 1 a.m. exactly right, so I'm your timekeeper, I guess, in that sense. <laughs> Exploring the world and the ruins, yeah, I mean, I've, I've also kind of been... I've been looking for the shrines, because apparently if you find all 120 shrines, right, you get, like, Link's original costume or something like that. I'm not sure if I'll do all 120 shrines, that's for sure. Uh, I'm just still very blown away by how um, expensive, as in E-X-P-A-N, uh, expansive this game is um, and I don't know how the the uh, how the producers and how the uh, the artists the programmers fit everything into a game like this 
it's actually quite insane. Um, so rightfully so, now I can understand why it really is Game of the Year 2017. Um, I'm gonna side quest walking past us. What game am I playing next? I'm still gonna continue and uh, I think on Friday, uh, when I stream again, we will be heading into Hyrule Castle. This time around, we will be taking on Ganon for sure. Uh, I know some of you have already cleared the game, so don't spoil me. Uh, hopefully, it's a, there'll, there'll be no surprises there, but I'll definitely be preparing myself for that final fight with Ganon. So we are finally about to hit the end, like goodness me, it's been... I don't know how many streams we've done on this, it's been way too many streams, so I'm looking forward to it. Hunt for dragons and take scenery shots. Oh, I have seen the dragons. Yeah, I, I, I might go and hunt the dragons offline as well. But we'll see. No DLC? Eh, I'll, I'll, I'll play Albert Core first and then we will try the DLC when and if we have time. Guys, there's so many games coming out, right? It's crazy. Uh, Albert Core already has come out. Tekken 8. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to get Tekken 8. I'm looking forward to getting Tekken 8. Uh, I know I don't look like the, the kind of guy that, you know, uh, plays a lot of fighting games, but my PS5 is severely underutilized. And also not to mention, uh, Spider-Man 2 is coming out. Where is D4? Oh my goodness, guys. Hey, let me tell you honestly, right? Diablo 4, uh, you honestly, all you need to do is just go and type in uh, Diablo 4 in the categories on Twitch and on Kick. You tell me how many people are still streaming that game or even playing it for that matter. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, nobody... That game is slowly like spiraling. It, I, can, I kind of feel it's winding down a bit already. There's nothing that is, you know, pushing me to get back into Diablo at this point. Honestly speaking. Like, even a game from back in 2017 feels so much better than D4 at this point. Not saying that I won't go back at all, uh, but I think currently at this point, I am just very invested in another game itself, right? And of course, the new upcoming one, uh, Armored Core 6, hopefully... Um, yeah, we can get our hands on that. Wait, okay, so I just want to have a question to ask you guys. For Armored Core 6, those of you who are playing it, uh, are you guys playing it on PC on P or on PS5? Because I think Armored Core 6 is not cross um is not cross platform I don't think so right I don't think it is yeah I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm assuming it's not uh I I oh, so I've read la so I I want to purchase the version of AC6 where uh, I can have the most fun with the most number of people I I, I think most people have played it on on PC right I'm assuming okay. and I know Tidal is playing on PC he's been egging me on to get it for the longest time already. Uh, again, I'm just not sure whether or not I should, whether or not I should play it on the PC or on the PS5. So, oh. I'll get down to that eventually. Anyway, guys, um, we're gonna call it a night here. Um, it's been a fun ride. It's been fun chatting with you guys about my BKK trip. It's been fun clearing yet another ancient um, ancient beast with you guys on stream. Uh, and yes, I'll definitely once again be putting in more work on this game so that we can get enough, um, well, stamina, health, what, what, what you may call it, you know, uh, to finally beat Ganon. Alright, that leaves us with one last thing to do and that is to find someone who we can raid, alright? Um, do stay on and guys, those of you who are on uh, kick as well. Honey Tracks, thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. Those of you who are on kick, we have eight right off the bat. Uh, we're gonna find someone that is also playing uh, a Zelda, so do stay on. Let's see who is streaming at this time, both on kick and on Twitch. Uh, Honey Tracks, I appreciate you for being here. Uh, thank you so much, even though you're new here. I look forward to seeing you again. I look forward to seeing all of you again back on the stream. Uh, again, I will be streaming this Friday, uh, same time, same channel, right? 8.30 here on Twitch and Kick. Thank you for distributing the pillows, White Wolfie, and thank you, Simon. Thank you all for staying up so late with me, as always. Like I said, this is the only time we can actually degen because it's the school holidays. I don't have to teach. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to send you guys off to someone um, who we are good friends with. And I think I know who we should raid, alright? This person, we have not raided him in quite some time. And uh, you probably know who he is already. 
Uh, his name is Wheeler KK. All right. Uh, he does a lot of cycling streams, and currently he looks like he's doing karaoke. Oh, freaking Twitch! Oh, <laughs> uh, we'll 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 let this run first. But let's find someone on Kick who we can host. I think that's the uh, that's the thing I want to send you guys off to. Luminestra is playing Starfield. What is going on? What is this? This is so weird. Okay, wait, never mind. Has anybody? Is he still awake? Yeah, apparently. Hey, he's saying K. Hi, everyone. Alright, yeah. Let's send you guys over to him. You guys can sing into the night with him and all that good stuff. Um, But yeah. Over on Kick. Okay, you know what? Let's go and find someone new that we can raid. Uh Oh Butina First Arab verified streamer on Kick. Okay, so this person by the name of Butina actually followed us on Kick previously. Oh wait, she she's the one that does keyboards. Butina Optimus Prime <laughs> Oh my god, hey, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Okay, I I I think we've raided her. Yeah, we hosted her previously. Okay. Simple, let's let's make it real simple. Let's find someone that's playing Zelda. Uh I'm assuming I'm the only one that's playing Breath of the Wild. Oh wait, hold on. Wait. Someone else is playing Breath of the Wild. Nah, this guy's just farming views. Uh Yeah, this guy's just this guy's just farming. Alright. Maybe let's look for someone that's playing Ocarina of Time. No one? Introducing our final Super Smash Bros. contender, Barack Obama. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. I got you. <laughs> yes, I got you. Um, but look. Um, That, that's the you see this is the problem with kick at the moment right they don't have tags so i literally 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 have to go and search out people uh, manually on my own okay but anyway oh by the way yes guys it is currently september right so subs are currently on a discount so uh if you would like to now is a good time to sub to the stream um doesn't matter if you're on Twitch or on Kick, right? September, all subs are on discount. I think it's like what? Like three dollars a sub for this September. So just letting you guys know in case, okay guys? Alright. Uh we let's go and host uh Terranix, uh playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, because I'm super backdated. Um I'm I'm way behind in terms of the Zelda law and stuff, which is why I'm currently playing, you know. Breath of the Wild and stuff, right? So, uh, yeah. Let's go and send you our love. Let me give her a follow real quick. Uh, Terranix. So, on kick, we're gonna host Terranix. And, um, yeah. Let's drop Mr. Wheeler KK a raid over on Twitch. Alright. I'm good, Terranix. I'm good. And uh, little does she know, I'm gonna raid her in just a bit. <laughs> okay. Copy and paste the rate messages and all that good stuff. Uh, this is the rate message for those who are subs. If you're not sub, uh, the earlier message will be good enough as we send you over to Wheeler KK. It is bullshit, honestly. I don't see why that's Wheeler KK with that karaoke. Let's go. All right, Wheeler KK. He himself does a lot of cycling streams and stuff, so um, you're gonna enjoy his vibe. His, his vibe is very chill. Um, he was, every time if you sub to him, by the way, he does this whole tank egg thing as well. But, uh, he's, he's, he's a fantastic RL streamer. So let's sh go show him some love. Copy and paste the rate messages. And again, I will see you guys this Friday for more Breath of the Wild. Uh, those of you who are on kick, like I said, we're going to send you over to Terranix. Uh, where's my creator dashboard? Okay, we are going to send you over to, to, to Terranix, okay, playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys for staying up with me. Have a good rest. Uh, all the best for the rest of the week. And I'll see you this Friday for TGIF. Guys, just two more days. Two more days to the weekend. And uh, we will be done before you know it, okay? You'll be done with work before you know it, alright? 
So I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Oh yes, sleep Nasai and this is Chowakin signing out. Right? I'll catch you again very, very soon. Cheers. <laughs>